How are you today? <laughs> yeah, not too bad, thanks, man. Oh, but a bit of a bad back. I sort of slept in an awkward position, I think. Did you fall asleep in the bath whilst trying to suck your own cock? <sighs> Just the usual, yeah. <laughs> How are you, man? What have you been up to uh, other than this? I've got a bit of a bad back. I fell asleep in the bath trying to suck my own cock. <laughs> What game's this, by the way? Uh, super Rude Bear something or other. <laughs> right. That famous game, Super Rude Bear something or other. Yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, it's basically a Super Meat Boy ripoff. Ah, uh, okay. So, ultra difficult then. Uh, so far, it's not that difficult, as in I can play it, which means it isn't yeah, but difficult you're, at you're all. You're a whiz. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not great at games, I just enjoy playing them. That's why I like, um, like puzzle games and platformers and things. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, probably why I like adventure games so much as well. Uh, oh, sorry, it's just a new mechanic there. You can float, oh, right. float up the air vents. Um... The th unique thing on this is when you die, it makes the game easier for you because you can uh, walk on your dead corpses. Oh, okay. That's I was going to say it kind of sucks if it gets easier, in my opinion, but it's kind of interesting that you can walk on your, the dead corpse. That's quite a cool mechanic, really. Yeah, so as you'll see in a moment, I just died um, on some spikes, and I'll be able to now walk across my body on those spikes. Ah, right. Do you have to actually do that for some of the sections, do you think? Or... Um, I'd imagine that if they've got a mechanic in it, they're going to use it, aren't they? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm... Hang on, I'm trying to remember. Because you can use the fairy to look what's ahead. So what do I need to do at this point? Yeah, that looks... Yeah, it's a wall of spikes, isn't it? Do I have to stay on the moving block, I think? I guess. I, I think it must do. Otherwise, it wouldn't keep going, I don't think, would it? Mm. So, I'm glad they're sort of adding puzzle ele elements to it now. Sort of, they've yeah. got, it's sort of a good, um, good ramping up of difficulty. So, I find some games, uh, like Cuphead and things, are just mm -hmm. difficult out the box. You never get into the game. So you I loved to... Cuphead, but I, know, I absolutely agree. It's difficult straight from the off. And then like that, can, that can put you off because you just want to see some of the game get into it first. Yeah, definitely. Especially as the art style of Cuphead is so endearing. Yeah. It's like That's... you kind of wish there was an easy mode just so you could see all the art. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's the whole reason I even played it, because it's not generally my sort of game, but I stuck through till the end, because, like you say, the art style is just so fantastic. Yeah, so I'm just going through like some of my Steam games, because I used to buy loads of Humble Bundles, so yeah. full of like indie games that are just like, games you'll only sort of play once or twice, but they're sort of a fun diversion, a bit like old shareware games in a way. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a massive backlog to get through. Oh, I've got about like a thousand games on there. <laughs> yeah, you'll never play them all, but yeah, it's good to have some variety, isn't it? In fact, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna move on to another game. Uh, I've only installed some of them. Because I installed a few and thought they were shit, so I deleted them off. Because you do get, get a few of them. Let's load up the uh, one of the Saturn games. Oh wow! I actually get to see the um, the old emulator. Um, I've got a part. Still haven't tried. I still haven't tried your suggestion of uh, burning a ROM to a disc. It's a good idea, though. Yeah, I wonder if that would work, or whether it's one of those ones that looks for a certain blank space in them. Yeah, I guess if they're not letting you just put a ROM straight onto it, they're probably very purposely sort of saying we don't want people to do piracy for this. 
Yeah. Um, let's go with probably one of the classic games on the Sega Saturn. Uh, Panzer Dragoon. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. The original one. Yeah. Uh, what folder was it in? It just suddenly occurred to me one day and said, I just thought I can, uh, you'd have to have like uh, something that pretended to be your CD drive, wouldn't wouldn't you? Yeah. Let's... I've got, uh, what's it, Damon Tools? Da Damon Albarn. Yes. <laughs> he is a tool. Quite talented, though. Yeah, but uh, Sega Saturn is notoriously hard to crack uh, yeah. I think there's been some re some recent uh, movement on that so I'm just going to find where I've got the just moving the volume okay. down on that have you played Panzer Dragoon Saga Del? no I haven't actually played most of my Sega Saturn games because I bought them right at the end when everyone's getting getting rid of it um, and I bought a load of games but I never got around to playing it that much because the Sega Saturn's a bit of a faff to get set up right yeah because uh, because we were discussing the other day about like the battery issues you got out of the mm -hmm. battery yeah and is that just because someone else was in the chat saying that's just for the internal clock though yeah but I think the clock screws up other stuff in it oh right but I think the way... Kind of a pretty big design flaw, really, isn't it? Yeah, that's why nobody bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also the fact that they'd already had two CD-based systems to add on, add-ons for the Mega Drive. So everyone wasn't yeah. sure whether they should go for the 32X or whether they should go for the Sega Saturn, <laughs> which came yeah. out simultaneously. Oh, wow, the 32X. I just remember at the time it was like, what a disaster. What an ill-advised thing to do. So if I remember correctly, this is all on rails, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Cool, look at them polygons. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. definitely yes. would. <laughs> <laughs> so what, I've got... It's a pretty good-looking game for the time, really. Oh, yeah, it, it's, it's... So if you can't do graphics that well... Yeah. Do it in a style. Absolutely, I 100% agree. Absolutely. And this is very much stylized. It's not trying to be realistic. It's trying to be fantasy. Yeah. So it's gone with nice bold colours. I'll show you another game later, which kind of mucked up a few things. The fact that it, as my friends used to call it when they used to play it, a brownathon. <laughs> you might be able to guess. What, a... See if you can guess what game it is from that description. Could be Quake. It is Quake. <laughs> <laughs> wow, got it first try. Amazing. <laughs> Famous for how brown, because they were saying like how they preferred uh, Unreal Tournament over it because of the col the colours to it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Un Unreal Tournament's very colourful. Yeah. The opposite. Yeah, of Quake is is brown. <laughs> yeah, Quake is not a good-looking game. I didn't even think it was at the time. I mean, technically amazing, but, but yeah, not. I like. Um, have you played Res? This is essentially the same sort of gameplay. No, I've got Magic Carpet here, which is obviously yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Well, except that's free roaming Magic Carpet, isn't it? Oh, I was had an impression that was on rails as well. No, no, I'm pretty sure that's free roaming. This is typically Sega, isn't it? Like, just by the sounds of it, it's just Sega all over. It's not trying to be deep, it's trying to see how much you can bash the buttons as fast as you can. Yeah, um, this goes right back to like Afterburner and uh, Space Harrier and things, doesn't it? Yeah, this is very similar to that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Flouncer, what's dark? the Dark Places port of Quake? Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, you've know you screwed up in history where people are still preferring to do mods of Doom over doing mods of Quake. Even though Quake has the 3D engine on it. Yeah. Where uh, Doom is all 2D but looks 3D. Yeah, yeah. Doom's just a lot more appealing, isn't it? It's got better sound uh, soundtrack as well. Oh yeah. Oh, it's yeah. The soundtrack and sound effects are iconic in there. Yeah. How many? How, every time you hear that uh, lift sound in a program, yeah. do you think of Doom? Yeah. Absolutely. So I, I believe like Quake Three or Four has quite a good engine, but I've never played it. I no, I gave up after Quake Two. That was kind of the last one I played. See, I, I play the Dooms, Rise of the Triad, uh, Duke Nukem, oh, yeah. Duke yeah. Nukem 3D, yeah. and Heretic. Yeah. Where you can yeah. turn yourself into a chicken. <laughs> Could you? <laughs> yeah. I, I and you go around. Yeah. Go around pecking people on Heretic. It's quite funny. That's fantastic, man. <laughs> I know in Rise of the Triad you can turn into a dog, or you could basically become Jesus and fly everywhere. <laughs> yeah, blood's good, Flouncer. Uh, the Dark Places port uh, mod, is that a new thing that just came out recently? I don't know on that one. Oh, I was just asking Flouncer, sorry. I have no idea what I'm doing on this game. I'm just pressing a button. You're doing the right thing. You just try and kill as many enemies as you can. It's uh, not complicated. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a reskin of Star Fox, isn't it? Or as some people yeah, might know yeah. it, Lilac Wars. I've never oh, un... God, that title. Jesus. I've never understood Was that. it some sort of rights issue that they had to change it for? Yeah, I, th I think there was something called Star Fox, probably some comic or something. But that was for the N64 sequel, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Because SNES was Star Fox and Star Wing in Europe, I think. Imagine, right, if in that era someone had got in early and copyrighted anything ending with the, the numbers 64. <laughs> yeah. Or 3D. But yeah, I own the copyright for that. Or 2000, of course, is the other one. <laughs> I liked it when the Nintendo combined the thing of putting Super in front of their SNES games with 64 after their N64 games when they made Superman 64. Did, did the you, actual title is just man. Did you know that uh, Tomb Raider was originally designed in mind for the Sega Saturn? He did not. I know it came out for that though. Yeah, that was the original idea, but it, but Sega Saturn flopped so badly that it's more well known for being a PlayStation game. Oh right, I had a bit for PC myself, but yeah. that's interesting. Man, I didn't know that. So did it? So it was. When did it come out after the release of Saturn? It would have been what, maybe a year or something like that. I don't really know. Because like. So they must have been aware it was a flop to start doing other ports of it. The window for Sega Saturn, I don't think, was a large window, to be honest. <laughs> I think it was actually two days. Minus two days, I think. I think it was dead yeah. on arrival. Yes! <laughs> it's an actual fact that not a single person ever owned one originally. I own two. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, there were the two sales i guess <laughs> uh, and they're both second hand but it shows you how well that they, they've dated that's the problem with yeah. op optical media devices is they will fail more often than the cartridge based systems yeah, I, my mega drive still works from when i was a kid yeah it's my crazy. snares my mega drive does my yeah, two I bet the snares is yellow as anything now my two game gears though uh fucked the lc lcd screens are really shit on them all right, yeah. Uh, let's let's try a different game, shall we? As, having died twice on that, it but, seemed all right. Um, I had the Panzer Dragoon for the Xbox. It was pretty good. 
but yeah, you can see the emulation's pretty spot on, isn't it? Without yeah, yeah, it it Not is surprised. what it is. Right, uh, I'll go through the games that I've got, and you call out okay ones that you'd like to see. I have uh, Warcraft Two: The Dark Saga. It's a role playing game, is it? Or yeah, but it's before a wor wor uh, world of Warcraft, so it's the over the top real time strategy one. RTS, yeah, real. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, we've got Magic Carpet. All ah, right, cool. Uh, Saturn Bomber Man. Oh, excellent. Uh, two copies of Sega Rally Championship. Same as me, man. I got two copies for some reason. God knows how he's <laughs> things. When you acquire people's collections, I think everyone has yeah, a copy. Yeah, that's of it. it. Yeah. Yeah, I just got mine in a box from a charity shop. <laughs> uh, Fighting Vipers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Sega Saturn edition of Doom. Might play that one. Yeah. Uh, Command and Conquer. It's not ideal to play role, uh, strategy games on console, really, is it? No. It, it feels you need the mouse. Yeah. Uh, True Pinball. Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil. Oh, lovely. Uh... Manx TT Superbikes. Uh, we've got Duke Nukem 3D. Street Fighter Alpha. Uh, Virtual Fighter 1 and 2. Um, some of the most overrated uh, fighter games out there. Have you ever played the Virtual Fighter game? I, I have, yeah. They're, I'm, they're, I'm not a fan of the genre, to be fair. but yeah. They're really limited, aren't they? Really limited. Mm, yeah. Pro probably the best game that I've got in the Sega Saturn, uh, Die Hard trilogy. Oh yeah, great stuff. Yeah, especially the the taxi stuff and the the gun. I, I, yeah, the I actually like the first one where you're just running around the top top down view through Nakatomi. That's quite fun, I think. It's it's quite unique, really, that you actually get it's like three proper games that are good on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's one of my favourites. I had it for PlayStation. Uh, Wipeout. Uh, that's a bit of a classic. Obviously, the Brownathon of Quake. Got yeah. uh, Worms. Oh, there's some good stuff here, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tomb Raider. The last one is Soviet Strike. Oh, wow. Okay. There's some several there that I'd like to see. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, I definitely like Soviet Strike. Uh, I'm forgetting half the ones he listed now. I think, um, we're, de I think we're definitely going to go through Die Hard Trilogy. Definitely, that's got to be one. I think we're going to go through Wipeout. Yeah. Clunky original Wipeout, yeah. Uh, any any suggestions what people in the, in the chat room would like to see? I think they'd like to see anything on screen at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to us blabbering on about shit. <laughs> uh, uh, let, let's stick in Die Hard Trilogy. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, I mean, that's three games in one, so that'll it's keep us going games. for a while. Keep, keep us going, keep us going. Yeah. I had the uh, something we're killing, says Floff. <laughs> well, you're about to get that, so your quid's in there. He's carked it, guys. I think he's gone. Devoted sister, beloved cunt. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I figured How are you, out. Man? I think I figured out what happened there. Um, that was I, my voice, Blob. 
story. <laughs> Uh, what what happened was while I was putting the CD in, it dis dislodged the USB cable on the microphone. Oh, ah, right, okay. So it just went very eerily quiet. Like, um, so I'm just. Is he? I thought he got in the bath again and was trying to do yeah. terrible things. But what made it worse is you weren't saying anything, so I was speaking. I was thinking I'd lost you. Yeah, no, I was thinking, is this my connection? And I, uh, yeah. Is, is it a so? I just restored. I just resorted to going. I, I did notice that. I did notice that. Right. All right. You you're back in time for that. Great. <laughs> I I I I'm, might have to restart. Uh, okay. The Saturn thing. Because it, right. it's it's being a see you next Tuesday. Hello, Chivelk. I never know how to say that. No. <laughs> Chivelk seems. Chivik. <laughs> or as the cat once said, it's like uh, reading in the news and trapping a penis in in the dictionary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, if you would like to tell us how to pronounce your name, we would appreciate it. <laughs> I think we just go every time. It's just easier. Yeah, you didn't really think that one through, did you? <laughs> no, this one's not loading up for some reason, so... Oh, no. So we know that Die Hard Trilogy is a no-go. We get terrible sequels in the movies, but we can't play the actual good the game good one. based on the good movies, yeah. One of the very few good movie licenses. That's very true, yeah. Probably helps that it came out many, many years after the actual movies. Apparently, the LucasArts Adventure Indiana Jones games are quite good. It, uh, Fate of Atlantis is an absolute classic, but it's not strictly speaking, it's not a movie licensed one in as much as it's an original story. And also, uh, there's a also Lego Star Wars. I didn't like that. I really hate those Lego games. I just find the gameplay so tedious. Is it like reading a biggie tip by a political thread? I stay out of those threads because I'm because they're not tedious. To see it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, why yeah, Phil? Ah, um, oh, great. Yeah, Phil. Last Crusade adventure is pretty good. It's flawed, but it's fighting that sort of ruins it. I think. I feel that I should bring the volume up for this one. Yeah. It's like playing I Wipeout the... without the music is a bit... A bit pointless, yeah. This is definitely one uh... that's known for being good on the PlayStation. I'm not sure that the Saturn version is that well regarded. the volume on the actual video turned off because it causes the echo oh yeah so you you can't listen to it no it... there's no way around that really is there no ah bummer i don't even know if this has the same soundtrack as the playstation one i reckon it must do Yeah, just yeah, like how <laughs> <laughs> The problem with the first wipeout is that you can't scrape the sides, it just stops you dead in your tracks. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that Nintendo don't see how uh, F Zero should be one of their major games. Yeah, Did that, when was the last one? That must have been a while back. GameCube? Was it that, really the GX one, wasn't it? That was a long time ago, man. I'm surprised they haven't got one for the Switch or something. Yeah. Uh, apparently it's because yeah. they can't think of any new ideas for it. Because they like their gimmicks, don't they? They only bring Mario back uh, when there's gimmicks. I don't, that annoys me about them. Sometimes, you know, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Just make some new tracks, updated graphics. I don't see why it has to have a new gimmick. 
That's why sort of Mario Maker's been so good. Is it's just 2D Mario. It's what people want. They just wanted more levels of the same. They didn't need like new Super Mario Brothers stuff with all, all the bells and yeah. whistles added. The most pointless thing in New Super Mario Brothers was when he got the power up that turns you into sort of Godzilla Mario. And he just stomped through the level. It's like, well, what's the point of this power up? It's just like skipping a level. I just avoided the power up at all costs. It's like, I paid for this game. I actually want to play the levels, not skip through them. So, do you own some Nintendo consoles then? The. What were they? Um, DS. Uh. So if you stuck to the hand, cube. the handhelds mainly then. Yeah, that actually I had a Wii, but uh, I never did, did actually you flush? played it. Yeah, I knew I knew you'd make that joke, man. Uh, it, couldn't resist, could it's you? It's probably the most stupidest name for a game it is. console. It is. Apart from uh, Wii U. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they were thinking with that one. Uh, but yeah, I had a Wii and. I never actually played it. My shut up. My, <laughs> my girlfriend at the time just I just sat and watched her play through it, even though I paid all the money for it. So it just seemed like a complete waste of money. So in the end, you're trying to say your girlfriend had a Wii? Yes. And I watched. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Sega shite bouncer. Sega shite, classic. So by all accounts, the Dreamcast was actually a really good console. Oh, I, I have, I've still got a Dreamcast, fantastic console. But by that point, they'd already shut the bed, hadn't they? Yeah, it's a real shame because it was such a great console. I wish it had been more popular, a bigger success, and there'd been more games. Because it's got stuff like uh, Crazy Taxi on there. Yeah, Crazy Taxi's good, but I was more about Shenmue. Uh, Resident Evil, Code Veronica, uh, Res. I really want. The them, I really want them to bring uh, Super Monkey Ball to PC. Ah, oh, Super Monkey Ball's fantastic. Have you played the? Um, did you play it two-player with anyone on Monkey Target? Uh, the only version of it I had was Super Monkey Ball Advance on the SP. Ah, uh, right. Okay. But. Uh, you can sort of hand the controller over to to your friend. So it had uh, monkey bowling was on it. Uh, the one with right. the, the fight targets was on on there. That's uh, a shame. That was the best mode, probably better than the main game itself, really. Well, I did manage to score a perfect on Super Monkey Ball Bowling. That tells you how much I got into it. <laughs> Do you think that would be the highlight of your life? Uh, no, that would be completing Snake Two on the Nokia. Snake 2? Complete? You can't complete Snake, can you? Yeah, you fill up the entire screen until you can't move anymore. Amazing, I did not know that. I guess it would. Yeah, I guess you event. It's not technically a win in a way, is it? But yeah, you can't do anything beyond that, so yeah. Though you can get a better score, depending yeah, on what sure. numbers come yeah. out. Because the only reason I got really good at it was I was flirting with a girl over it. And she was really good at it, so you know, it's like, oh, I'm going to outdo your score. <laughs> a team of women by showing off at how good you are at playing Snake on a Nokia. That's it. I've heard it all now, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what uh, a life you live. Oh, well, we used to have a great time, and that was a good summer, because we used to go over at a house and play uh, Tony Hawk's on, um, on the Dreamcast. Yeah. Whilst, whilst listening to a version of a Backstreet Boys song called Which Backstreet Boy, Boy is Gay? <laughs> she seemed to love that song. <laughs> it's all ever... of them, isn't it? <laughs> have you ever heard that parody? I've not. I'll have to track that down, man. <laughs> hang on, hang on. We, we can solve it right now. We have the power. <laughs> It's got to be on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, it must be. Everything's on YouTube. Even my girlfriend's having a wee. Yes. Uh, which Backstreet 
boy is gay. A massive gauge. Okay, uh, you might want to listen to this. I'll, I'll turn it up. Yeah. We are on fire. We have. She used to love this song. Desires, but one is that way. One back street boy is gay, but we don't want to be mean. Since now he's a queen, don't ask me which back street boy is gay. Tell me who ain't saying that it's AJ. But he don't need an IUD, yeah. He likes village people, he's playing croquet. His dog is a Pekingese. He's on fire, <laughs> his back. It's spot on, isn't it? Perspires. <laughs> oh, this is best bit. Very homophobic, but very entertaining. I, I like how accurate it is to the original song as yeah, well. Yeah, how close it sounds. You, if you weren't paying attention, you'd just think it was the original. But the bit that cracks me up is the bit where they all do the harmonies and the one comes in, he's slightly off. Like, on purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it It's fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, that on repeat while I was playing Tony Hawk's. That was a good summer. Have you got Never see the likes of those days again. You don't. You can only do that when you're like a teenager, can't you? Yeah, you can play Wipeout now and put the song on, but it's just not the same. You just can't recreate that, that's it. That's it. The birds aren't quite blocking to me now. <laughs> I mean, I'm look at, looking outside my door and uh, all I can see is... Bloody bitches. Literal bird. That, that's it. Oh, I've got rockets on this. Where did I get rockets? Have you only just realised that you actually have weapons in this? <laughs> yeah. So, like I say, I, I haven't played these games in years. Yeah. You just thought all those coloured squares on the ground were just decoration. Well, the thing is, like, now I've been out of work, I've just been going through all my old stuff. So, I've had time. Oh, yeah. I don't understand how to not slow down in that sort of bit where it goes down the hill. Um, you can hold down to tilt your nose cone up, I think. So, have you got any um, chatting up girls stories then? Um, no, I just remember awkwardly as an 18 year old doing the whole sort of giving the eyes across the bar sort of thing. It's just cringe-worthy in retrospect. So, so you've never tried to impress a girl with, like, your skills? 
like in the phone I'm, I'm just I'm just naturally my stuff and they just come a running auction are, are you like the crazy town song butterfly I don't know the song but yes the one that says come come my lady that one. oh of course yes yeah. he, he says no not knowing how, how it no is. I know exactly come come my lady you're my butterfly baby that that song is is their only hit uh, it's funny because it it's only a hit because it contains a sample of Red Hot Chili Peppers, which they were their supporting act at the time to Chili Peppers. So they heard them, so, oh, let's sam let's steal that. And then they had a hit with it. <laughs> it's no wonder it was their only hit then. Yeah. They probably weren't able to. Or they could have just kept stealing things from everywhere. Yeah, their follow up single was called Lollipop Revolving Door. With a title like that, you could, you just knew they should have been bigger. That debuted to number 372 in the charts. <laughs> that's, that's it. What were your feelings on the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Uh, pretty much, kind of ashamedly, the only thing I really know about them. Didn't they do the roller coaster song for the Beavis and Butthead movie. Yes, they did. Yeah, I like that song. Uh, that's about all I've got to say on them, really. <laughs> I'm I... not a massive music fan, to be honest. Because I know on, on the forum that opinions on uh, on Chili Peppers is very negative. Really? They're, they're not popular. I know this after, what, doing years of cab radio kind of what the consensus is on, on music and, right, okay. and what you have to do is on Cab Radio and Cab TV you have to play songs that no one has ever heard so they, they're unsure what the consensus is so they don't know whether they can say that they like it or hate it because they don't think, know what the group think is you think that is the actual hive mind in effects there yeah so, so you can get I away don't doubt it does happen with some people. I think some people are afraid to actually express their own bloody or even form their own opinion. Mm. They just got to go. Oh, what's everyone else saying? I'll just say that to fit in. Oh, it's fantastic! Really Ten out of ten, best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Is that mocking me there? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, but it goes to show it's very hard to form your own opinions in a vacuum? Um, what you mean when you're by yourself? Like, uh, like when when you're, say, on a forum or things, right. or you're with, right. with your friends. It's like, not You a lot get influenced by what everyone else is saying, to a point, I mean. But a lot of people don't have the backbone to just stand up and say, no, I like that. Even. Yeah, I've never had that problem. I'm very outspoken about what, what I genuinely think, which is often why I get in trouble on the forum because, you know, you, I'm you've never that. wound anyone up on the forum. No, exactly. I'm not afraid to actually speak my mind. <laughs> but I think what people forget on forums is, um, you miss a lot of the communicational tones. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's why a lot of people get offended again with what I say. They're not sort of getting. If it, if I was saying what I'm typing, you'd get my tone. You'd get where where I'm coming from. I think people think it's aggressive when it's not actually meant that way. Yeah, it's very hard to judge. I mean, we're, we're having a conversation right now, and you're not at all aggressive or anything. No, no, I'm really not. It's not my personality, and I only type what I'd be willing to say. But like you say, it's very hard to read what the tone is. Um, but I, I don't feel the need to have to comment on everything where some people um, that, yeah. have to it's like a compulsive mm -hmm. disorder mm -hmm. I've actually recently decided to just if I really disagree with someone just, just not to just to leave it you know it's just not life's too short to get into arguments on the internet I think especially if you know people will be upset or will be fake upset over something yeah because there are people on the forum that just want to score 
points against each other and it's not even about like having a debate yeah. It's it's yeah. like it's like you're never gonna win a thread. There's no there's no no, no. no thread referee that goes like fifteen love to Ed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh that was out of bounds. <laughs> never <laughs> happens. I'm sure several people referees on the forum have told me I'm out of bounds before. Actually that <laughs> that could be to be a good thread is the political debate thread, but I'm the referee. <laughs> it's like, th that's just the scope of it. It's like, it's like, that's what makes it different. So I can rule like people's replies offside or something. <laughs> Is it, um, an actual political rally, rally like tennis. <laughs> that's it, political. <laughs> Uh, right, shall we try a different game now? Yeah, yeah. What's your verdict on the wipeout? It's good. I just can't get off the first level. <laughs> but it handles quite well um, on that. It doesn't feel sluggish. Yeah. You know, like some games, you can feel a bit of delay with it. Um, but I'm, w I'm wondering if it would feel sluggish on... Um, the original hardware, whether my beefy PC sort of makes it's compensating it... for yeah. the. I don't yeah. know. You wanted to see Soviet strike. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he has Phil. We could play that after perhaps Dell Tomb Raider. Phil just wants to whack uh, whack his cock off uh, over humping the walls, doesn't he? Oh, I bet he does the dirty old bollocks. <laughs> That's how she sounded, wasn't it? Yeah, I knew what you'd do, yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe he'd gotten the bath again for a moment, but then I realised. Oh, we've got we've got video on this one. Oh yeah, it's FMV, though. They did a... Uh... A remake of Night Trap, didn't they? Definition. I've actually got a copy, as incomprehensible as it ever was. Tell you what I would like. I would like a HD remaster of Pepsi Man. Yes. Just so we could get the video clips in like high definition. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the few games that's actually good that is purely promotion. <laughs> I would say it was good. I would. I'd say I would, me. and I am. I'd say, have you played it? I haven't actually, but I've seen enough clips to sort of think, this looks really fun. It's what You know what are those called on mobile phones where you're just running along, jumping and... Uh Oh, sliding yeah. under things. <laughs> Infinite yeah. runners or something like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, that, that seems pretty cool to me. But maybe it handles like a dog if you played it yourself. So this is Soviet Strike. You can see what they've done with Desert Strike and Jungle Strike is they've made it look shit. Yeah, they have ugly 3D realistically textured this is a muddy brown sort of game, by the way. It's, it's, a, it's a brown. Instead of the interesting deserts and the jungles, we'll just yeah. have we'll, we'll just have Sheffield. <laughs> Sheffield strike. <laughs> uh, I can't. Oh, I don't like the way this handles either. It takes a while to get used to the controls in these games. Yeah. I think the first time I ever played this series was on an Amiga, my cousin's Amiga. Right, yeah. Hi shift. Hi shit hi hi shit wank. Shit. <laughs> shit. So on the originals you have to go around and do objectives. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Yeah, if you press start or something along those lines, it should come up with miss mission objectives. Yeah, there's a map with icons on it. Which don't mean yeah. 
anything. Stiddly squat to you, yeah. <laughs> destroy two radar sites. Rescue captured agents. Destroy the airfield. Rescue 14 prisoners. Hit H. Destroy a terrorist camp. Eavesdrop on Villa. Set device. Yeah. That's too much information, isn't it? It is. It's a bit of an overload. Well, that was a fun game. <laughs> that was worth loading up. But, yeah, I can, I can see... Yeah, this, is not the, got... this is the fourth one, isn't it? Because I had Urban uh, Strike. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. I'm assuming... Was I'm assuming this was the last in the series, is it? No, there was Nuclear Strike as well. N nuclear Strike. It was the same style as this, same generation. Because the move to 3D killed a lot of franchises. It's, it killed Lemmings. Oh yeah, that was terrible. Worms as well for a while. Uh, it killed Micro Machines. Micro Machines 3D yeah. is awful. V. That was uh. V3 for the PlayStation. Yeah. Oh. I thought that one was all right, but it's nowhere near the level of like the second one, which was 2D. Although even the 2D ones were slightly oh, annoying because you had to just memorise the tracks because there was no way to see what was ahead of you. I just realised I spent about a minute there trying to pick up a deer because I thought it was one of the hardest to do. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hook down, pick up the deer, <laughs> transport it up to the top of the mountain and leave it. You bastard. Oh, that, that reminds me of a hilarious clip that I saw. Um, yeah. Hang on, I'll see if I can flip over to that. Uh, see if I can find it for you. It's not someone actually abandoning a deer on top of a mountain. No, it's so it's uh, someone it's a seventy year old pensioner being rescued uh, by being airlifted out, but it goes it goes amusingly wrong. Okay, as long as it's amusingly, not horrifically. Yeah, she's she's all right. <laughs> okay, cool. It's the video shocking the nation as a chopper rescue goes horribly wrong. An elderly female hiker is strapped to that stretcher. I'm thinking at the bit just to get wildly. to it. Listen to you, man. Just watching the video makes you dizzy. Can you imagine the terror the patient So I'm 10 seconds ahead of you, that's why. She spins a shocking 175 times. The ordeal lasted for a full two and a half minutes. Here's what we know about the patient. She's 75. She fell while hiking in Phoenix and injured oh her my hip. God. The chopper was called to evacuate her to a hospital. So what went wrong? Conditions during the airlift were <laughs> extremely windy. Firefighters say the <laughs> line that was supposed to prevent the stretcher from spinning in circles failed. Sometimes when we bring the helicopter up uh, from the ground, uh, it, it will start to spin. <laughs> had a, a line attached to the basket to help prevent that. Uh, today it didn't. The basket started to spin. He says the crew 75 year old woman doing that. Stop the spinning. There you go, they're bringing her up. the woman suffered dizziness and nausea. And you could be charging money for this, like a fairground thing. Symptoms. Oh my gosh, that is not good. <laughs> I love how calm the, um, the, the pilot is. It's just going, oh my god, that's not good. Not, not, not going like, oh fuck, oh fuck. Yeah. Just, oh, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I, yeah, so uh, that's what I'm now oh, that... picturing playing. Um... You need to be able, why can't they let you pick up a deer? Not an old <laughs> deer, that. an actual deer and do that. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm meant to be blowing this up. Yeah, I mean, there's some places you're definitely not supposed to, which are holding hostages. And things. Yeah, this could be all right, but I'd rather be playing like the earlier iterations. Yeah, it's lost the charm, hasn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, you didn't give me a password for that. I did shocking on it. It should just sure. just fuck off, shouldn't it? That should be the password. Fuck off. <laughs> so that's that's a Soviet strike that was, for you. That was shite strike, yep. Shite strike. Bird strike. But I hope that uh fulfilled your need there. Yeah, thanks for putting it on, man. Uh, I think Phil wants Tomb Raider next. Or in my house, we used to call it Tit Wobbler. <laughs> oh, so you're playing Tit Wobbler again, said my dad. <laughs> Being really original with his dad jokes, yeah. <laughs> so, my dad's hilarious <laughs> because the stuff he does, right? Yeah. Uh, this sounds like a really grim story, but it's kind of hilarious. My my mum accidentally fell down the stairs once. I'm laughing already. Yeah. <laughs> and, and my dad came out and just said, "What are you doing down there, you stupid woman?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and the like... funny part is, she was dead. <laughs> no, she wasn't. She's, she's still alive. Oh, dads, man. I think once you become a dad, it's just automatic. You become a right dick. Um, this might be one that won't load. So, yeah, I don't think they have ironed out all the emulation. We're about 50-50 at the moment, aren't we? Keeps, keeps telling me the door's open on it. That's... I kept yeah when I was trying it out trying to load up ROMs it kept saying door was open when it's quite clearly not. Yeah, that's just like a, a thing that it thinks, isn't it? It's an emulation of a door. It's like fucking a emulate anything. These door days. simulator. Yeah, <laughs> you know it exists somewhere. Ninety nine cents on Steam. Door simulator five. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth iteration. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's just an asset flip of the other ones. Looks like we're not yeah. going to get Tomb Raider then. Though I do have it on Steam, but I haven't downloaded it. So I'll I'll download that and we'll do another stream at some point and I'll play Tomb Raider for Phil. Phil now has blue balls. <laughs> Thanks, Saturn emulator. She's got she's got such perky polygon tits. Tri it's just two triangles, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> you, you <laughs> just thought, like, you, you bury your head, head in her breast and poke your eyes out. <laughs> like to be speared <laughs> on her nipples. Don't you play in Egyptian levels in some of them? It's like there's pyramids everywhere and then there's two on her chest as well. I do remember playing the third one, but not actually playing the game and just playing the introduction stage, trying to put the butler in the fridge. Yeah, oh, that was always a favourite, yeah. They actually did something with that in one of the recent ones. Sort of got an achievement for doing it or something like that. Because so many people did it in the original. That butler was creepy, man. Followed you everywhere. <laughs> JD wants to see the polygon tits. Actually, I'll see if I can find a screenshot of uh, polygon tits. I think it's like the remaster of Tomb Raider is really good. It's fantastic, yeah. Really, really good. And I, I like uh, the current design for her. I think she looks really good. But it's definitely trying to be... Um... I definitely like what they did visually, and I like the idea behind it. I've got a copy, but I just haven't got around to playing it. There we go. Look at them tits on that. <laughs> The, the expression on, on her face, it, it's so lifelike. <laughs> the amount of emotion. So oh, expressive. Although, I'd say it looks better than Peter Cushing and then Rogue One. <laughs> More realistic than that, at least. We should go re-edit re uh, re Star Wars and just put uh, Tomb Raider 1 Lara Croft in. <laughs> Instead of Jar Jar Binks. 
was it Red Letter Media who took uh, his Peter Cushing from I think one of those crappy CGI cartoons they did and just placed him in the live action trailer when he was <laughs> Peter Cushing was supposed to appear. It was great. I, I think my favorite uh, trailer watch they did was the one where um, Rich Evans was going, "I love fucking Star Wars," and he's like fucking the toys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favourite is 80-80s, 80-80s. <laughs> and of course, no one's really dead. <laughs> yeah, no one's really gone. Um, are you familiar with 90s comics? Mm, unless it's 2000 AD, not particularly. Uh, because there's a certain there's a certain comic artist that is renowned for like his really bad art. I'm trying to remember his name now. Rob Liefeld. Oh, I've got to see this. Come on. Uh, I think I wonder if that blog's still up. We'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah, the twenty, the forty worst Rob Liefeld drawings. Just gonna refresh. Hold on, because I'm lagging quite a bit here. I think. should be better right <laughs> are you ready for for, for this you... uh no 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 hold on i've just got to put the quality things up because i need these bad drawings in high quality yeah he he's really good at okay uh, yeah uh drawing as you can see this this woman here uh... oh, it looks all right what's wrong with that just look at look look at her back it looks very painful. Look how she's managing to flash both her buttocks and her breasts at the camera at the same time. That is unnatural. But it's not without talent. That's the strange thing. Just doesn't seem to understand proportions or the way human bodies work. Uh, and notice that the drawing cuts off around the leg because he cannot draw feet for fuck. <laughs> right, so that that's that one. Uh, <laughs> why do I just keep saying gif on everything? Go away. I know it's a gif. Add back to the game, man. Fucking hell. Uh, he was notorious as well for... Yeah, so, yeah, this one coming up. Notice how at the bottom he's tried to put all the explosion stuff covering their feet. <laughs> uh, he's famous for drawing lots of pouches on things. Um, lots of guns, lots of mes metal, metal arms. This guy actually designed the original look for Deadpool. That's his big claim to fame. Uh, he designed it, and then someone wrote the stories better, and he became big after that. But he still gets the credit. So he's minted for life on the back of basically getting lucky. Oh, he he was a. Oh, uh, here's a good one of look at all the pouches, and the metal arms. Loves the pouches and the metal arms. The, what what's he use those pouches for on his leg? I'm not quite sure. His oh. his mentos. <laughs> so, so there's that one. Um, uh, bit this one beautiful. Look at the oversized cable character in there with his massive gun. <laughs> with his peanut head. Yes, tiny little head. <laughs> ah, he's screaming because he's an abomination. Ah, yeah, so you, somebody you, kill me, burn me. You, you're getting the idea of his his tropes. He's, um, yeah. Let's all right. Let's go to the top ten worst now. Now you've got a feel for it. Yeah. It's just a guy falling over and going, ah. I don't know why that... That's not particularly bad, though, is it? That one. That one's not so bad. The one above was just, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this this one. Look look at the legs. Her legs are bigger oh, than the rest of her body. God. That's disturbing. Hmm. It's supposed to be sexy. Yeah. It's like a... 
it's like a gaz- sort of half. It's like a gazelle and the woman got into Brundle's teleportation pods. Yeah, th- this is like a feral type creature, but you got to see the ass on it, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, he'd like mullets as well. Mullets. He he did a lot of artwork for X Men, which were the biggest selling comics at the time as well. Yeah. The the face on that thing. Maybe it's just because my quality's not so high high on this end, but it probably does just look this bad. Uh, look at this guy. He's, he's kicked Wolverine here, but he's fallen on his head. <laughs> like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> it takes a while to sort of figure out what you're looking at, but now I can. I thought that was his head, but that's his arse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a broken neck, isn't it? Yeah, uh, th- this guy is in- impaled on a sword, but the sword's going but, sideways. But what's going on with the head? What is that? It looks like a mango with a wig on. <laughs> uh... So the main, main oh. reason... The, the main reason I wanted to introduce him, because... I... Because there, so, someone did a parody drawing of ev- every sort of Rob Liefeld tr- trope. Right, yeah. So now I've got you familiar with his style. Th- this is someone taking uh, the piss. Okay. Um, I can't find it now. Oh, it's got to be here. They called him. Bloodknock is the, the name parody the... name, is yeah. it? Yeah, Bloodknock. I think he might have been taken down. Oh, no. Oh, he... man. oh it's Blood blood, blood Pouch, was it what it was called? Ah, oh, figures. Yeah. Right, here we go. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> I I love everything about it. <laughs> I want to see them. on the gun. That's a fantastic <laughs> touch. <laughs> I want them to make a blood pouch film. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the amount of pouches is insane. Oh yeah, another another one of his traits was uh, the, the males had way too many teeth in them. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I, Pretty fantastic, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, there's also another comic artist who does comics at the moment, but he's renowned for tracing over scenes of porn. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, see if I can find some comparisons. I think his name's. I typed him for on. Is it, is it Yost? Yost Prawn. <laughs> Yost Prawn? <laughs> Sounds like an F1 driver, doesn't he? It does, yes. Yost Prawn is in, <laughs> in the lead. He's won the world title. Um. Old porn comics, Jesus. I think it's Christopher Yost, is his name. Ah, oh, come, it might not be him. I think it's some someone else. I hate this when this happens, man. It's always happening to me. Just trying to search the. That's it. Very... That's it. That's it. It's Greg Land. I think he did a. I think he did some work with Yoss. That's why I'm getting it confused. Yeah, Greg Land put um pornography. That's it. I hope they've got comparisons in this, and they will like take uh, other people's artwork and uh bits from other things and just like straight up copy them right yeah 
Oh, sorry, I see what you're saying. This isn't. I thought you were saying it's like a parody thing, but no, this, this is, is a, a... an actual artist who just rips off other people. Other yeah, so thi this this one is he's ripped off the mask from, I think that's Gladiator or something. Just yeah. wholesale stole it so. for his artwork. Interesting. Could you get done for copyright theft there? Um. You could. I don't know if that's like a loophole because you're tracing it. It's not literally. I but, think it would wow. be deemed transformative. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Holy crap! Oh, look, he's done Kevin Nash, the wrestler. <laughs> um. Shameless, isn't it? Has he ever spoken out about why he does this? Tries to justify it or anything? Well, it, it's weird because like. You can clearly see, like, uh, some of the poses are from porn. Or glamour <laughs> shots. Yeah. He's I like, oh, time to do a new comic. Okay, time to go on the old external hard drive. But go they, into that folder. He'll recycle himself. He'll copy other people's art. Uh, he, yeah, this one's off a, off a porno. They're just like proper orgasm shot. <laughs> yeah, obviously wrestling would be a good source because superheroes are muscly and wrestlers are muscly. So it's a good fit. Yeah, I just... I just never get my head around people who do these kind of things, you know. I just, have they got no integrity whatsoever? Well, he gets employed because he can do it fast. And keep on track with the comics. I suppose that's his justification. Is it? I can go. I can get it out faster if I do it this way. Yet yeah, there's so many great artists, but they take their time, so their comics end up getting delayed yeah. and they never finish. I'm sort of seeing how this works business-wise now, but it's still dodgy as fuck. Look, here's Sean Connery. I haven't got to that bit yet. I think I'm lagging. Oh yeah. <laughs> It is. It's Sean you don't Con even need to see that. Yeah, you don't even need to see the comparisons. Go, that's fucking Sean Connery. That <laughs> just, I, I, yeah, this one is definitely porno tracing. Tell me that's not from a porno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hasn't drawn the bloke in there. Definitely. <laughs> it, it it turns out that porn looks like. Superheroes like springing into action and taking pain. <laughs> Definitely some sort of crossover just naturally there, I think. Yeah. I think I've actually got that one. <laughs> well, you, have, you, have you burnt it to uh, DVD yet in, in case the great <laughs> Paul Mageddon's coming along? That's been cancelled though, essentially, hasn't it? Oh, indefinitely um, delayed, as they put it. Yeah, whilst the MPs manage to get their porn collections downloaded. Yes, <laughs> yeah. As soon as they're sorted, then <laughs> it'll be right back on again. Uh, I might, while we're on the theme of superheroes, I might show you some of the the worst uh, <coughs> superhero costumes. Okay, um, I'm just dying for a cigarette, man. Um, I don't know if you want to just carry on talking by yourself or put music on or. Uh, yeah, we'll flip over to some music then. Uh. Well, I'll be back in like five minutes or something. Yeah, it's just I need to go to the toilet as well. Okay, great, cool. Uh, yeah, so we'll be back after this commercial break, as in uh, music. <laughs> Trying to sound all professional. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you in a bit, man. Bye bye. Uh, thank you for listening to some songs. Well, we should be coming back. Well, what did we have? We had Blur, Get Out of the Cities from the Song 2 single, L7 with Shitlist, and Deer Hoof with Super Duper Rescue Heads. Uh, I do like a bit of Deer Hoof. Um, <laughs> hello, welcome back, Ed. Ed, Ed, hello. Ed. Full of, full of nicotine, full, full of the drugs. Yes. <laughs> full of cancer. Full of, guaranteed tumour in every packet. Roll up, roll up. It, <laughs> it's it's like the reflectors you used to get in uh, in um, cornflakes. 
But only only tuners and not things to put on your bike. All I know is lovely, lovely fags. Lo lo lovely fags. Like that one guy in the Backstreet Boys said. Okay, so b before we had our little break, I was going to show you some of the worst uh, superhero costumes throughout out the history. Yeah. Now, I, fa I found a website that's got a few listed on. Um, I'm surprised they didn't have one of my favourites in the main section. They've only put it in the honourable mentions. I've got it up now. Uh, that's um, the one second to the left. Is one from the Fantastic Four in the nineties. Can you see yeah. it? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the Invisible Woman. Very invisible. Um, I like the way that she's got a, a breast cut out of the four. You, you see that, don't you? Yeah, I, I assume I'm looking at the right thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, can, can you see that the bands on her legs and her arms aren't connected to anything? Well, they're sort of, they're like uh, sort of strips. It's like masking tape, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Um, imagine, right, you're a superhero and you get called yeah. out on an emergency. So you've got a secret identity. I don't need to imagine, by the way, but yeah. Yeah. And you have to suit up and you're going to waste time putting on these little bands as extra. Oh, yeah. No, they're very vain, those superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Just, just vanity got... strips. <laughs> That's it. So uh, they've got number fifteen. They've got Superman Electric Blue. This was a period where he became. I think he lost his powers, uh, and then got lightning powers instead. So they did the flip reverse negative Superman colors. So you see the lightning coming out of his eyes. There. Yeah. Um, I see the lightning coming out of his eyes. Yeah. Uh, and... it... Is that a good? Is that a upgrade or a downgrade or about the same? Would you say? Well, the one thing about Superman is he's iconic. Yeah. You can't redesign that. That's like redesigning the KSC uh, Colonel. You just can't do it. You'd be was this like at. supposed to be a? Was this supposed to be a permanent thing or was it? Not yeah, just a, like a, a permanent thing. Oh no! Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, so, so the next ne next one. This is how they wanted to redesign Wonder Woman. With, with yeah, a... I can see why that didn't pan out. <laughs> well, again, another iconic design, and then you've got hot pants. Yeah, hot pants. <laughs> that should have been the new name, just hot pants. Hot pants. Uh, uh, I, I think this is a bit, a bit sad. I don't mind the original Iron Man gold armor. I, w <laughs> I wouldn't put that in the list. That that's a classic. I know it's been improved it's like... upon. It's like C three PO's down being down the gym, but the the whole idea is it's based on what he could make in a cave, so it's gonna look like a just a giant suit of armor. What does that look like? It looks. It look he looks like um, uh, an an Oscar statue. Yeah, he does. I'm looking at the um fellow on the right though, and he looks like. Someone's put super glue on a fluffy. Oh, and well, rolled, rolled his ass in like in grass or something in red grass. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Someone played a prank on him. <laughs> uh, n number twelve. Uh, <laughs> Magneto and his. Uh, I'm not even sure what that's called. It's like sort of like a basketball sort of jersey sort of. Thing. Is he normally supposed to look like what he looks like in the movies? Uh, pretty much. With he... the helmet and yeah, with the like... helmet again, another yeah. another iconic design. But now he's got this cloak thing going on that, like, someone yeah. could just go pass up and like lift up and go, "Oh, see your cock, Magneto." <laughs> <laughs> and also the big M, just so everyone knows. Like, <laughs> That's it. Giving it all that big I am. Uh, oh, this is. This is the 90s redesign of Thor. That's very sort of Axel Rose, isn't it? <laughs> the, the, the big hair and... Yeah. The, the, they went through a period of putting power armour on things. Now, now Thor, as you know, is like a god. So why would a god yeah. need power armour? He likes armor? The, uh, 
DIY. It's the God he likes DIY, isn't yeah. it? And it's like the armor doesn't even make sense. You've got shoulder pads and a breastplate, but you've got the the sternum exposed. It doesn't make any sense. If, you, if you're going for armor, you want full coverage, don't you? Yeah, but you've got to show off those abs. You've got to show off the abs. The fabulous abs, man. You've got to show them off. Uh, <laughs> number ten, Ghost Rider. He's now, now, he's that. He's he's gonna fish you from the grave. Uh, uh, <laughs> he he's now a part of the Legion of Doom, uh, Road Warrior stable from from wrestling. Do you know it's those? Just a visual. You know the Road I Warriors. Don't. Uh, I do not know. Well, we... it's a bit of a visual mess that one, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, the only road warrior I know is Mel Gibson, my friend. Yeah, they were quite famous for having spiky things. Oh, oh yeah, totally. That yeah. Absolutely is. Yeah. Um, they that, went that th sort of. They went through their own carnations, actually. They, um, they were also called the Legion of Doom, and they did have a version of it called Legion of Doom Two Thousand. Because <laughs> it's so futuristic back then. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Uh, now it's ancient it's the past <laughs> now everything's got to be 3000 I suppose to be honest I don't see what's so bad about this one what was she supposed to look like originally well she I mean, it looks alright to me but, yeah uh, she's not really a bit like uh, yeah. Batgirl from the oh, oh that, that that's film. Captain Marvel <laughs> hang on a moment I wish I knew all the what they're supposed to look like originally. I'm just not a comic book guy, man. Uh, I mean, I, I, can, I can see why some people would be uh, put off by that. You still there, Ed? Yeah, I am. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, why would they be put off by it? Um, because, again, it's like a like an iconic character and now she's suddenly just wearing a little but, jacket but yeah, I, I mean I absolutely agree that you, you don't need to change things that are iconic just leave it be but as, as somebody who doesn't know what the original is supposed to look like yeah. it's like a perfectly good design to be yeah. fair yeah it's, it's not as stupid egregious as other, yeah. yeah yeah so I, I, I don't agree with that at number nine the, the ninth worst oh, costume that, that should have been right at the tail end yeah, yeah. That is not as bad as Fantastic Four boob window, is it? No. <laughs> that that is obviously worse. All of the all of the above are worse. Yeah. They they have not got the ordering right on this. Um another Thor. This time he's got blue shoulder pads. There he is with his famous hammer. Yeah. It's pretty much similar he's always to had those he's always had those silly wing things, hasn't he? Yeah, to be fair, the original Thor is pretty stupid looking. Is he deaf? And is that like his hearing aid, just sort of stylized hearing aid? Yes, that's exactly what it is. I thought it might be, yeah. Um, okay, this is meant to be a Green Lantern. The fact that he's red for a start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty basic failure of the character right there. <laughs> uh and he's yeah. just he's superheroes. Just... We've got colorblind artists, and, and he's got a gun for a hand now. Um, number six. Oh God! Gun for a, a gun for a hand's really not very handy when you think about it. That's that's War Machine. He should look it's like a... like like an Iron Man. Oh right. Okay. Um. It's... Got a sarcophagus for a chest it's uh he's got blades on his shoulders as well imagine it's like, like krang in the lower right there <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah um, imagine like he's gone to do like a pr visit to a school and he's having to walk down the corridor and he keeps slicing up kids with his blade shoulders <laughs> <laughs> just leaving a trail of flailing kids with limbs everywhere <laughs> keep to the left <laughs> Oh god, what have they done to Hawkeye here? You know Hawkeye, he's in the Avengers. I don't. 
He's always had but, um, he's always had a stupid purple costume, but but this, he's never he's never had a skirt before. This is sort of very He Man, yeah, cross dressing He Man, cross with a bit of um, David Bowie perhaps as well. <laughs> like like now you say that, I can imagine him shouting shout, shouting by the powers of attorney. Rather than the turn, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, this is um, Goliath. He's meant to be big. That's his yeah. gimmick. But, well, they certainly got the size right. <laughs> I don't well, think they got anything else right, did they? He he appears to have a wrestling title around his waist. <laughs> yes. Like a chastity belt that's been put on too high. And he he's got. His boots are rolled up as well. <laughs> Does Hawkeye for his own alcohol? What was that? Is, is um, what's his name? Captain America there? Is he fisting himself? Oh. That remind, reminds me of a, a very famous Captain America panel. Where he actually fists himself. Um... Yeah, this one. Captain America wank. <laughs> it's worth waiting for. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this was pre-America adopting the wank phrase from us. Yes. <laughs> it's meant to be a sound effect. Like going, wank! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which which works, but it does have another meaning. It does. Quite an aggressive wank. Yeah. Oh, God. You know Hercules the god. How about if he was Sylvester Stallone? Oh shit, that is Sylvester Stallone. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, that's not Hercules, is it? I only know Hercules as Arnold Schwarzenegger. Which probably has <laughs> nothing to do with the comics, I'd imagine. Just rather the, um, is it Greek? Uh, th this one is, as they call it, Black Canary Flashdance. Yeah, I can see where they're going with that one. Yeah, 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 definitely. Like she's going to do, like, um, morning exercises on TV AM. Yeah, come on, everybody, get those legs up high. Um, now, did, did... Oh, that... Iron Man nose armour. Their problem with this one, number two, their problem with it is because he's moulded a nose into the the faceplate. Not that bad, to be it, honest. It's not number two. It's not. Again, I think that's more comic geeks sort of getting upset at just a change. Uh, welcome I mean, back, depending. Admiral. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, April. It's just getting marked down because it's not the iconic look. And number yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, depending how close the armor was to his face he might actually need a little mm. thing for his nose and number one is wonder man i don't know i don't think that's num what number one worse no the, the ordering again it's it, all over the place it, it's like they found 15 images that are meant to be bad and they just put them on a list without really ordering them that's probably exactly what happened. They're more interested in just thinking clickbait, clickbait, clickbait. It's it's like those Watch Mojo film uh, clips, isn't it? Where it's just like, here are ten clips. We're not going to do yes. any work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone's done the work for us. Now we're just going to cash in through the ad revenue. Oh, I hate Watch Mojo with a passion. Oh. In the, how long did it take you to stop? Clicking on clickbait things, pretty pretty soon. Yeah, I think it maybe took me about six months of occasionally clicking on something before I went. No, no matter how interesting it sounds, it never, never is. That's just the golden rule. I'll, I'll tell you what's one of the worst things a YouTube channel can do is it can start off with um, a premise like there is a channel called Dorkly. I don't know if you know Dorkly. I don't know. Uh, what they do is they specialise in doing retro style animations, but like comedy skits with them. So it'd be like, what if all the power ups got screwed up? So like, 
Mario was getting like weapons and things, and they right, do that okay. sort of thing. Yeah. So that's what it built its trade up, and now they've started adding uh-huh. adding because animation is quite time consuming. They need more mm-hmm. more revenue. What they've done is they've got some of their neck beard employees that do the editing yeah. to do do a podcast where they talk about comics and shit and it's like the worst thing ever yeah it's so it's i imagine the podcast is just horrible in of itself uh, but it's also but oh, it's also diluting the very reason for yeah it, it's for actually putting, me, putting me off. i've been putting the thumbs down on it um yeah. i've actually got them subscribed. hoping they'll stop it yeah. i'll show you what i mean um I'll show you what their content kind of is, and then, and I'll show you how wrong it's got. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so you might want to get Dorkly. Dorkly just means I would never subscribe to it just on principle, just for the name. It kind of really puts me off. So you might want to listen to this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm putting the volume up. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Very excitable child. A turtle basher, the princess kisser. You're my hero. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, always nicer to meet the fan. Mr. Mario, can can you jump for me? Uh, all right. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so wow. You get the idea. It's that, th- these little sort that, of minute sketches. I thought you were cool. Turns out Mario. Yeah, it's nicely funny. animated. What? No, I'm a cool. It's a me, a Mario. Let me throw it this a shell. Classic move. Yeah. <laughs> Mario is a uh, little tired. Hey, never mind. Really, it's it's my fault for thinking my favorite hero, Mario, would would actually be cool. Wait, no, I'm not super cool. Here, watch me eat this mushroom. Everyone loves a big Mario. Okay, wait, 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 wait. A, a fire flower. Your favorite hero using a super cool weapon. It's so cool. <laughs> The Mario just lit me, eighth grader Jesse McNulty, on fire. Holy f***ing sweet peaches, peach. Best last day of my life. Ah, yeah, well, did you say you'd subscribe to this channel? Yeah, this hey, everyone, one isn't one of the best ones, to be fair. Oh, okay, good. I was thinking maybe you'd chosen the thing that best represented what was so great about it. No, them. no. Um, uh, the main thing I subscribed for, there was a series where they did Pokemon uh, called called Rusty something or other, with the idea that Rusty is a Pokemon trainer who mistreats his Pokemon and they all leave and become evil criminals. Okay, okay. And it, it's, it's quite funny, like... Like... <laughs> He, he like calls the Pokemons by the wrong names and like like makes them fight until they're virtually dead and things <laughs> like that. <laughs> right, so it's, it's, it's like oh. short animations, and now now they've got shit like this with the worst geeky stereotype people going, and I can't stand the looks Hilarious. of these people. Uh, okay, <laughs> well you know you know okay. maybe, maybe Look is this gonna by, be like? By, uh, it's not Hold on, I haven't episode. seen it yet. Issue 101. Especially the fat Phoenix guy with his play. awful beard. Phoenix is like a Jean Grey and X Men have a little space uh, lagging here. adventure and uh, uh, a cosmic force. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. More or less it's like the worst there. stereotypes um, of nerds. So, like, of that years, is an actual like, neckbeard. That, like, yeah. going on. This is just like extra powerful. Is this a proper nerd crew thing like Red Letter Marvel Media? Movie. I don't know, I've never watched it. All I do is click on them and give it them a thumbs sex. down. Yeah, it's I love it when they have sex. Right, yeah. Sash yeah. Is just it's like, you stop doing this, go back to what you were good at doing. It's yeah. More, it's, more <laughs> it's like, this is, yeah. having this in my yeah. feed yeah. is embarrassing. Trick somebody. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> or use it as a blindfold. So, so they have one that's comic, and then they have one where they pitch ideas for role playing games. Yeah, it is that bad. Or, oh, yeah, this, this one's awful. Oh. I want to kill the people. The with the goatee and looks like uh, Black Adam. Oh, look at these people! And it is God! Find the aesthetic offensive. Look at them! Look at the <laughs> fucking state of them! Look, would you not want to stab every single one of these people? Pretty much trash. I don't know about stab, but I'd like to give them a good yeah, bloody slap. Oh, wow! All right, this I is just. Like it was on, like, and I hate this. Hair. Hair. It's, it's, it's like oh, do you have 
I, I think the way I'd, I'd like to term it is they're nerds for pay. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's fucking Moz. What's it? Oh, the hair. Oh, all of the hair and the... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Imagine getting up in the morning and going, what am I going to look like when I go out into the world today? I know this. It it gives nerds a bad stereotype. Bad <laughs> well, actually, I think nerds are bad. There's a difference between being a geek and a nerd. I'm a total geek. I'm not a bloody nerd. Like, but it, it's it's the side it's the side of like comics and video games that I cannot stand when people dress in a uniform for their scene like mm -hmm. that. Absolutely, sort of like yeah, advertise. This is what I'm into, as if people are supposed to look at you and have respect for you instead of look at you going like what a twat. Yeah, yeah, I, I know Avril that they're dressed as Saved by the Bell characters, yeah. even without Saved the wigs. Saved by the Bell end, I think. <laughs> even, even without the wigs. It's like, you, you just know that they're awful people, awful, awful. Awful people. <laughs> <laughs> You're condemning them, man. <laughs> it, it's clear to me that these are the people that edit the videos and they're just in the studio but have no action. They're not good in front of camera. They're, they're just there. Um, nerds are not known for having great on-camera skills. And uh, you just... I don't know. It, I just avoid this side of YouTube completely. In fact, I whittled down my list recently, sort of going, do I really want this? Do I really want that? No, no, no. It, yeah, and in fact, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to unsubscribe because I cannot stand... I'm yes, gonna... <laughs> excellent. Fuck you, Dorkly, and your crap. In fact, I'm going to put a comment. I'm going to write a comment. <laughs> do it, man. Do it. Do it now. I'm unsubbing because this is real <coughs> gash, man. <laughs> Post it. A rebel with a cause. As you can, as, as you can see, I've, I have actually already thumbed this down. <laughs> <laughs> I bet as soon as this stream is over, you go and resubscribe. <laughs> Fair play to you, though, man. You've got to stand up for what you believe in. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself to Avril? Oh, sorry. It's Eddie, Avril. How are you? Uh, that, that's that's made me feel good now. It really has. <laughs> I don't think that's harsh enough, to be honest. But... No, I mean, you could track them down and sort of burn them, but I think that might be taking it a bit far. <laughs> I, I would laugh, just, laugh so just hard some... if that got sort of upvoted to the best comment. <laughs> <laughs> it won't. It'll it'll just get a load of angry nerds going like, oh, "Shut up! You know what you're talking about? Don't get oh. my favourite YouTubers." That's it. Let's let's read the comments, shall we? Uh, this show was good, except Zach Morris <laughs> is real trash. Thumbs down for that. Incredible insight there. <laughs> Someone is someone died and suddenly wake up in the grave. Then it will be saved by the bell. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> Zach... Oh, and all the heart comments, of course, next to them. Love your videos. Yep. Something like that. Well, guys, Banjo and Kazoo are now in Smash. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> that show was good. Thumbs down. I could spend ages like thumb thumbing down oh, people's thumbs comments. down. You can't though anymore, can you? It doesn't let you. What am I doing now? I'm, I'm disliking them. You can't though, can you? Oh no, that's Facebook, I think. I th try. Does it actually say minus one or one next to thumbs down? Uh, it says I can hover over it and remove my dislike. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually register. Um. I don't even play RPGs, but I love this show. Thumbs down. 
I don't even like RPGs, but I love this show. I just... Why are you watching it? All right. But I have reason to believe that they should get rid of this just based on the views. You, you notice, like, on this one, this was posted June the 11th, so it's had nine yeah. days. It's got uh -huh. 7,200 views. 26, How many subscribers? Uh, 2.9 million. Oh, wow. That's bad. Uh, 265 thumbs up, 26 thumbs down. So... Oh, the thumbs up, it's the number of views compared to the number of subscriptions. That is not good. Yeah. Um, so that other one we just watched, in comparison, so we had 7,000 uh -huh. views up for nine days. This was posted uh -huh. on May the 25th, so how many days is that? What, a month? Um, Pretty much, yeah. 478,000 views. Yeah, well, there you go. That's it all, really. Up. So, yeah. at least you know you're not alone in your hatred for that. Yeah, it's like, how soul crushing must that be that you spent an hour editing and rec <laughs> recording this this amazing Save by the Bell podcast that you've done, and you get <laughs> you think, oh, I've got a potential audience of two point nine oh, million. Can I just, Gail, can I just point out the irony that we're getting about maybe five people listening to us waffling on <laughs> for over an hour yeah three yeah. hours and counting but we're not doing this as paid professionals that's true we don't have but that's worse <laughs> <laughs> th th they've been hired they've been probably roped in by the company uh to to do this podcast yeah to, to yeah. be to be nerds for pay for seven thousand views It'll be loot box openings next, won't it? Loot box. I I'd like to see them do a loot box o opening of one of them hacking the other one up, and seeing what amazing <laughs> surprises he can find inside them. Or well, like one of them's hiding inside a massive loot box with a knife, just waiting. <laughs> so stab. Oh, it, it's it's Is a it... pop vinyl. There's your answer, Dale. Just get it. Package yourself up in a massive loot box, deliver them yourself to their headquarters, jump out, and there you go. Yeah, so so that that's the type of thing that I hate on YouTube. And that it, yeah, I I join you with that <laughs> fucking loathsome. It, that's why I really like when the Red Letter Media do like the parodies of like the nerd stuff and things. Yeah, yeah, the nerd crew. Yeah, it's absolutely spot on. Mm. Cool, so cool, cool. Yeah, it, it's one of my irrational hatred. Is that sort of that sort of nerd? My other irrational hatred, and it's a really weird one, is women with Elvis style haircuts. I cannot stand. <laughs> Can you pull up a photo example of that? Um, about the massive sort of upwards pulled back fringe. I don't know what that would be called. Well, Elvis haircut, I suppose. Ah, uh, yeah, this is this this one's lo loathsome. I cannot stand this. Oh no! I'm lagging. Bear in mind, so I'm just waiting to catch up. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty irritating look. That's what? How would you describe that if you had to, other than describing like being like Elvis? Would you say it's like a sort of shoe on someone's head um the way i would describe it is pineapple twat pineapple, yes that, i think that's a good description uh, I, I i cannot stand that haircut and it's like I, I don't mind like like um women with short hair because like some people can really work the pixie look oh, no, or no, no, like the spiky I, look I, I, I'm absolutely awful, you know, everyone doing their own thing, expressing themselves however they wish, but internally, there's certainly some people I look at and just think, oh, you dick. It's, it's, it's haircuts. I won't say anything, but I'll just think it, you know. It's haircuts when people have obviously tried too hard to be... Exactly, oh, that's what annoys me, it's the sort of try hard, it's putting that amount, it must take hours to prepare that hair in the morning. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> It's just, I guess it's because not where it's not where my priorities are in life on personal appearance, so it's 
it just kind of rubs me up the wrong way that someone would spend so long being that vain and that shallow. But it, it's like for a hair like that, it's like saying I like honky tonk music. That that I'll bring bring that up. That saying I like honky tonk music, and I bet she doesn't even like honky tonk music. Yeah, it's just I want to be seen to, for people to think that I like honky tonk music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it, it's dis disgenuous. It, it's it's fake, yeah. and and yeah. I w want her to die in a severe <laughs> <laughs> severe meat slicing incident. Dell cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, if you if you got any pet hates, um, where do you want to start? About a billion and one, man. Uh, human beings who just human beings human beings myself included I'm, I'm, you know I'm not excluding myself from that but I'm, I'm talking about those those really small things that you hate yeah, irrationally yeah no sure I'm just trying to I, I honestly do have a million one it's just now you put me on the spot I'm actually trouble, having trouble actually thinking of something something will come to me at like three in the morning I'll just mm. wake up and go, oh fuck I should have said that hate that one <laughs> I'll write it down yeah <laughs> and I'll dislike it I'm going to go out and search <laughs> pictures, on, pictures on Instagram and dislike them. <laughs> oh, I, I know one. The Leslie Ash lip look. Oh, the trout pout. The trout pout. Let's get a good yeah. trout pout going. <laughs> I felt really sorry for Leslie Ash herself because that wasn't her... Well, it, I mean, it was her fault in a way, but I still felt sorry for the joke and comparisons and although she did look a lot like the joker <laughs> but I, I i do think like society is very tough on female looks i do i think so as well because it is it, deemed proper that they must wear makeup at all times yeah yeah yet, yet a man can get up and uh -huh. just shave his face and that's good enough for the day literally walk out the house to go to the shops absolutely naked head to toe great big fool bald, fat, hairy bloke. Yeah. Perfect, and no one perfect. says anything. No one says anything. Just gets the shop and, oh yes, sir. Oh yeah, okay, bye. Off he waddles. Uh, and no one says a word. Woman goes out, forgets to put on a bit of lipstick and, oh, look at the state of her. Oh, <laughs> don't think much of hers, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get engraved. It's horrible double standards and it's just nasty. Like, yeah. So uh, I can, but, I can, I can understand wanting to look striking, wanting to... Yeah, but, but purposely, for a photo, putting your lips in a position that's like a trout mm. and trying to look all smouldering. And again, it's just so narcissistic and... Uh, I don't, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just, I think you feel the same way. It's just that... It's, it's like those types of lips remind me... Do you remember in the 80s you had the toy Garfields that you could stick on your car window. Yes, yeah, with yeah. the little sucker pads. I, I, I want to lick her lips yeah. and just stick her onto a window with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they look like uh, those wax lips. <laughs> she, she, she should go for the full Groucho Marx look, shouldn't she? Yes, yes. You just want to stick a cigar in there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah it, it, it's, in, it's incredible... It's like that's that's why I think like eighties fashion was amazingly liberated because men could actually wear makeup in the same style as a woman would put put it on, and it well, wouldn't wouldn't be a statement necessarily of your sexuality. Back in the days of black and white filming, you had to put makeup on everyone because it would highlight the features, wouldn't it? And most of the actors were literally made of wood and covered in creosote. <laughs> Yeah, so so that that's a thing. I'm still I... desperately trying to think of my own personal pet hates. Um, um, Skellington for such a hateful person, I can't believe I can't actually think of anything. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but that that's it. You you're gonna get get like on a game show where you the prize is you get to destroy ten things you hate forever, and yes, you're, yes. you're gonna spend like room like... one hundred and one. I'd be absolutely fucked. <laughs> And, and like at the end of it, you're gonna you're gonna say something like turnips. <laughs> and 
yeah, yeah, on, on, on the taxi ride home. It's a, I blew it, Ed. I blew it. I fucking blew it. <laughs> and then I get home and immediately everything comes rushing in. I'm like, oh, I hate that. I hate that. Oh, for, oh, oh fuck. The mother one chance. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> my one chance, man. <laughs> blew it. Yeah, I hate skeleton shoes. Skellington shoes. Skellington. Yeah. What is a skellington shoe? Apparently not the, what I thought they were. Oh. They're not skeleton <laughs> shoes. They're just. I've shoes. not seen it. Hold on. I'm just going to refresh the bloody lag. No, I've deep, these are not what I mean. I don't actually mean shoes with skeleton designs on them. What are you thinking of? Oh yeah, I can see these now. Yeah, they're like Halloween shoes. Yeah, I, I actually quite like those. They're, they're not too bad. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go for a job interview in them, but yeah. I suppose people might call them jelly shoes. Yes, that's that's it. Avril, I'm not sure that's a pet hate, really, but um, I could rant about them. I do certainly hate the bad alien films. But you're right, I could put them in the Room 101 box, absolutely. These are what you're thinking of, Del. Yeah, this is what I think. I hate these. Oh, okay. That's, I, I sort of describe them as jellyfish shoes. Yeah, well, I always knew them as skeleton shoes because, like, the, the ribs on it would be like a rib cage. Yeah, yeah. They're very ugly. And, and also you can see feet through them because they're semi-transparent. And feet are hideous things. People's trotters. Ugh. That's a pet hate. You hate feet. feet. Yeah. Would, they're hideous. Would you chop them off, people, if they expose them at you? Would I or do I? Would you? No, but I do. You do chop them off? Well, I mean, only if I see someone's feet. I'm not a maniac. Would you actually prefer people to have trotters instead of feet? I think hooves. Hooves. Would be preferable, yeah. Or, or should their feet look like giant tennis rackets? Um, I think badminton rackets. They're calling you the the anti Tarantino. Oh yeah, he loves I am. the feet. He's he got like... his foot fetish, yeah. <laughs> Sloth is suggesting that's why Rob Liefeld didn't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, Ed, are you secretly Rob Liefeld? Damn, I've been exposed. <laughs> Quickly is... pretend I've lost all connection. Um... <laughs> by rubies covered in pouches. Oh, my internet's gone down again. Oh, no. <laughs> pouches everywhere. Pouches upon pouches. Yeah. It, it's it's funny. Like, things oh, like... I've got a pet hate. I've got a pet hate. Oh. Uh, people, people who say... Uh, literally, when they don't actually mean literally. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. And they just want it, when they just mean for emphasis. That really pisses me off. <laughs> literally, oh, I work yeah. with someone that said that all the time, and I did flag her up on it, but she couldn't change. She was too far. Really grinds my gears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I never did tell them where I buried her. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot of murder discussion going on in this stream. Uh, well, that, most that, of it from me, but you, you as well. <laughs> that, that's that's cab TV for you. Um, yeah, literally, it comes back to literally murder. Kelvin <laughs> used to do entire streams about flaying the skin off his victims and wearing them as a suit. Uh, Ed Gein style. Mm. That's it. I'm trying to think of other other things that I hate. I I actually really hate social media. Yeah, I, I mean, does I don't does like Cooked and Bond set count as social media? No, because it's not trendy. It's not gone main. It's the opposite. It, yeah. it, it's the fact that it's become mainstream and accepted, and now it's seeping into work life. That you have to use mm. it for work purposes. Mm. Okay, yeah, I definitely agree with that. I don't use Twitter or Facebook or anything like that, so, and I hate it, yeah. Oh, you got to get on on the works WhatsApp so we can bother you when you're at home. 
So, well, if you want to yeah. do that, then pay me when I'm at home. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, it's them, like, seeping into life, trying to get more work out of you for free. I mean, just the internet in general. You know, a few years ago, I didn't have internet at all. And yet, everything seemed to require internet to do just the most basic of things and it was just for fuck's sake not everyone has the internet right? and and the other thing about mobile phones it has made the human race late for things because when, yeah yeah when, when you were young you say mm -hmm. oh we'll meet up at the park at three and if you didn't turn up people would assume that you died yeah yes and would phone the police <laughs> yeah. it's like you just turn up no, absolutely. I remember, yeah, as a kid, you'd have to say, I'll meet you here on Tuesday at three o'clock. And you had to be there on time. Now mobiles. And I'm, I'm as guilty as anyone. I, I'll turn up late and just phone them and be like, oh, sorry, I'm running a bit late or I'll yeah. cancel or whatever. Three, hour, yeah, day, three I, hours you... later, three hours later, you've watched the film and they go, oh, yeah, I've just managed to get here. I literally rushed yeah. out of the house. Yeah. My, mobiles really are... Uh, kind of a blight on a lot of things but fantastic in other ways it's a real double-edged sword it's like we can't be trusted with nice things that's the problem that is true you just, human nature will just uh, always mean that we'll fuck it up in some way and use it to just destroy what is quintessentially human and just become more and more self-centered mm. uh, another phrase that i hate is the phrase rush to hospital Rushed to the hospital. Why do you hate that one? People, every time they go to the hospital, they're always, oh, last night I was rushed to the hospital I was. And well, then... it depends. I mean, if, if they'd lost both their legs and the ambulance was weaving in and out of traffic, that is literally, literally, and this is correct use of the word literally, literally rushed to the hospital. Yeah, but, but, but the fact that they turned up for work the next day means they were not <laughs> rushed to the hospital. <laughs> I would tend to suggest that. Yeah. I, I I was rushed to the hospital for my pre-agreed appointment. <laughs> I phoned them a up. A leisurely there. little drive, like, with the... <laughs> rushed, like, cut, weaving and bobbing through the traffic. Oh, I was yeah. rushed to the yeah. hospital. It's like, did you drive yourself or did someone else drive you? Oh, no, they drove themselves and they stopped for a pasty on the way. Yeah. But they rushed to the hospital. Yeah. That they also phoned up to get an appointment beforehand as well. Yes, yeah. Rushed to the hospital, literally A good stop. two weeks in advance, yeah. So, yeah, I, oh, was I was vomiting all night. Okay. Were you drinking? Yes, yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Rushed to the hospital, they were. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just one of them phrases I hate. Because it's not what they're, they're trying to make it sound a lot worse, so people will be sympathetic f with them. But it turns out the thing yeah, they've gone to yeah. hospital for is one not important. Two, they're wasting yeah. valuable NHS time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, just like it, yeah, I agree. It's uh, again, it's all the um, self-centered, sort of egocentric attitude that so many people have. Where it's all about them, and mm. it's got to be uh, and, uh, again people. P people who go to their GP because they've got a cold annoy me. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's sorry. I just actually did what Avril gets pissed at. That's her own pet hate. I mean, uh... but. Uh... I do agree. Yeah, that 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 is a good one. Um, there, there's lots of those, but but some of those are sort of just a way that the English language is constructed. That the beginning of a sentence doesn't mean that much. It it's like like a doorbell saying, "I'm about to say a sentence now," and then the important stuff should be at the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. So the bit where people are saying I mean or our uh, ums and ers are like ringing the doorbell mm -hmm. saying pay attention to this sentence now I'm about to speak that's your well, preparation ums time and, Ums and ahs are more I'd say an insecurity because you're 
you're not feeling comfortable just to leave a blank while you properly structure something in your head mm. so you feel the need to fill that space with just a um uh, just to let the person know that you're just thinking how you want to communicate what you want to say um <laughs> <laughs> No, but but so, see, there there there's a little cue up there, uh, of what I was talking about. Um, it's it's a way for people to get ready to want to prepare yourself and to prepare the other person to listen, because what a lot of times is if you watch power dynamics in groups, it's like some people when they speak will always be spoken over to, and people aren't really listening to what they're saying. Mm. And it, it's a bit depressing because you'll get like an say an alpha male in the group that will dominate mm -hmm. the group yeah. and they'll be very boorish and boring yeah it when you know that thing that happens where two people say something at the same time mm. not the same thing but two people will try to say something at the same time I'm, I'm always the one that just immediately backs down and lets the other person speak it, but I absolutely agree that there's that the alpha males are the ones who just not only won't, will be the one who just carries on talking but will like you say dominate the conversation yeah I, I was watching some videos on competence and their suggestion is that um when you give way to the other person it actually reflects how you don't have confidence in yourself so to gain more confidence is even though you are talking over them is to make sure you finish the sentence first and then give way to them that makes sense yeah so finish your sentence and then allow them yeah yeah that's kind of the best of both worlds it's having self-confidence without being a boorish bore it's like having, having that confidence to say the sentence i'm saying is worth finishing yeah Hi Hitler, by the way. Hi Hitler. <laughs> I see he's pulled out the old shit. Sie Kyle, Sie Kyle. Ed cancelled. Uh, oh, I was cancelled ages ago, mate. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I'm negative. I I can't stand stand the can cancelling thing. People are now this whole culture that's arisen. Yeah. You said one thing, so now you're no longer good to society. Yeah, Bollocks. now you're no longer a valid human being. I mean, it only applies to celebrities, because if it applied to regular people too, then we'd all be cancelled. But I've said and done things in my past that I'm thoroughly ashamed of and would never do these days. But I guess if I were famous, that'd be it. I'd be cancelled. But their, their mistake in that, again, to do with confidence, is apologising for it. Because it once they apologise, it they one acknowledge that they were wrong, and two the what they said they don't stand behind. Where you should, if you stand behind something, they'll say no. That's what I said. Deal with it. If oh, it you... annoys me. Yeah, it annoys me if I get the feeling that they're simply saying sorry as a sort of press release, carefully worded and carefully yeah. thought out, probably written by someone else. Press I, I'm, release. I'm sorry to. I didn't want to cause any offence. This is. I've been misinterpreted. But they never. After all, that cancellation was well deserved. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> I was. Yes. I'm yeah. only joking, Avril. By the way, sorry. Yeah. Um... But you see, by all rights, say someone like Trump should be cancelled for the things he said, but he's good at not apologising for things. In fact, he doesn't pay it any oh. heed, really. He doesn't give a shit. He's a textbook sociopath. He couldn't care less what anyone else thinks. And what happens is people actually end up admiring his confidence and charisma, and that's why he's in power. Yep. It's not the things he's saying but how he's confident in not backtracking on what he's saying. It's exactly it's exactly what Hitler did. Mm. It's, it, it, yeah, I, I don't know how to expand on that. It's just exactly what he did. And that and that's why I don't believe people like Jeremy Corbyn, even though you may agree with him on his principles and yeah. his politics, he isn't a good leader of the the Labour 
um, party on the basis that the common person does not have in confidence in him to be prime minister. I think he's a bit of a wet sock. Mm. I I agree with so much of what he says, but he's not got the gumption, really, has he? He hasn't even got the self-awareness to know that he would do better good in a cabinet position rather than being the leader. Yeah. But it is... Del? Yes. Del, Del. Politics. Uh, a game or something? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Gen board politics. But I just... It's just... Ugh. Sorry, man. I hate talking about politics. Um, it... We can if you want. It's just no, but I'm I'm just I'm just saying like in terms of like confidence, you see you see it in a, a lot of ways that people apologise for for things or get boxed in and get played by people mm-hmm. with confidence, and people don't call that bullshit out enough. Yeah, and just say no. Well, you're just playing a, a a power confidence game, so you don't really stand behind what you say. So. I, as as a man of principle, this is what I believe in. And oh, I've, yeah. I've got confidence in myself to say that, but yeah. people don't. They, yeah, yeah. But there's a personality type that backs down, and that type of person gets ridden over time and time again. Because I know, I think I'm that sort of person, and I've experienced that. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm not an alpha male. Oh no no no! I, neither, certainly neither am I. No. And and for people that are more introspective. It, it's very hard to make headway in the world without feeling. Oh, it's of... it's very true. I I do back down. I don't. I will never say something I don't believe or say that I think someone else is right if I don't think they're right. But I'll just back down in the interest of not having an argument. Mm. And th- and that's what they bank upon. That it's yeah. percentage plays that people will back down if they're confronted of one thing. And that and that's where you lose in a public arena. Yeah, it's just as well you and I are not politicians because <laughs> we would be fucked. Well, mo- most of the people would be dead by now, wouldn't they? Yeah, no, that's also that. All all them <laughs> jelly shoed uh, fish lip Elvis <laughs> haircut wearers up. <laughs> My first policy will be to make sure that everyone who wears jelly shoes <laughs> should be a shot at the rise of the sun. <laughs> yeah, not not Brexit, gel exit. Gel <laughs> exit. <laughs> exit those jelly shoes. Um, shall, we, shall we play some NES games then? Ah, that sounds good. Enough of this uh, politic wank. Wankity wank, wankity wank. I'm going to whack, whack, whack. Ooh, inf- infinite desktops again. Yeah. Um, Find on drugs, kids. Everything's on drugs. Have you not been reading the, uh, oh, the children's yeah. thread? I kind of started it inadvertently with my banana splits thread. Yeah, it's like that banana splits film could be interesting, but it won't be. Oh no, it'll be a pile, big pile of shit. I mean, it's straight to streaming, for goodness sake. Yeah, it says, says again, it just says, I haven't got confidence in this film to to put it into a cinema. It's uh, like yeah, it's, it's, already, just... it's already lost its battle. There's enough people who will watch it going, oh, this will be an ironic laugh. Uh, it will it'll do fine, but it will be an absolute steaming, honking pile of shit. All it takes is, oh, I've just thought of another pet hate, the word influencer. Have you, ugh, have you yeah. heard that? Is that that I've heard it in terms of YouTubers, which really, ugh. Uh, bleh, bleh, we've, we've invited all the influencers down. Um, Social media influencers. Yeah, that's in, like a double whammy of vomit-inducing shit. It's like, oh, these these are the people that influence people's minds, and then you look at them and think, these twats are influencing the kids of today. We're all doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, that's what every generation says when they get old enough. 
No, but... Throughout the entire human history, everyone who gets to a certain age goes, oh, it's just not like it was. It, it's never been like this. It, it's just the worst it's ever been. I, I'm not I'm not saying that young people don't have good opinions on things. I'm saying this... Oh, I'll say it. I'll say it. But, yeah. No, I'm saying this particular subset of YouTube influencers, the people that are influencing, don't have good sound judgment or opinions and you could tell that by the people that uh advertising these weird gambling sites and stuff that they don't they oh, just did it for the money yeah. yeah and you only have to look at the level of debate with older debate programs and compare them and you realize uh -huh. how much we've slid down in terms of debate oh, yeah i can't disagree with that it's a very valid point and it's not necessarily the people on there, but it's the representation of the people yeah. that has slipped. Because they still have the same potential that they ever had. Uh, yeah, it's, it's particularly when you said when you watch videos from way back and you uh, with a debate. And it's just on a different level, isn't it? Well, even, It's actual debate. It's... Even like stuff like Mastermind, where they'd ask questions about classical music everybody used to know the answers to them yeah or or the, oh yeah i know that playwright or that opera or it's like you you'd be exposed to stuff that was outside of your normal remit now everything is now yeah. now it's narrow specialist cast. subject now it's specialist subject madonna like yeah we go i'm, I'm a gamer now so all all my media is just games that's all i see now sure yeah so so you're not going to be exposed to say things outside like you say your remit it's um, yeah the, the wonderful tunes of shawaddy waddy for example <laughs> <laughs> uh, which game did you want what? uh well after all would like that's not nez is it james pond 2 robocod we've had that before it's shit how dare you, sir? It is, though, isn't it? Oh, I, it's, well, objectively or subjectively, because I've got nostalgic feelings towards it. So yeah, I, see, nostal nostalgia goes for a lot. It's like we we do a lot yeah. of shit, shit things like genocide just because of nostalgia. Yeah, it is one massive advert for penguin bars, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Cool Spot's the same for Seven Up, isn't it? Or Mick and Mac Global Gladiators. Oh, Mick and Mac, I remember playing that. I, th I only think me and my friend played it for about three levels and went, this is absolute shite. <laughs> but we were hungry for a McDonald's afterwards, so... Hang on, we I did think... Its job. I, yeah, no, this isn't it. This is American Gladiators. I'm sure one of, one of the NES is the finest games. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Mario. Uh, do I have to set the buttons on here? I think I do. Oh, it doesn't save the buttons, that's crap. Just have to see what works. Yeah, um, options. Hopefully, I'll have the giant earbuds on this. So I'm just mapping my buttons. I'm, yeah, yeah. Wazad. Wazad. Isn't that a Budweiser commercial? I don't know why that. Wazad. This game looks awful. Running behind. I'm on the title screen at the moment. Fuck him up, gladiator. Oh, okay, I'm seeing it now. It is... I won. And he screamed. Oh, I have to... Bang. Oh, it's not just the one rap. You've seen Gladiators, right? Not <laughs> American Gladiators. American Gladiator. I do the Gladiator speech, but I don't know it. It's the speech? You know the... Oh, thing? you mean from the movie? Yeah. yeah. Father My of one child. <laughs> Son of a monkey. Give me that one. Son of a monkey. <laughs> That's the 
whoa. Where's Eureka? Ka, ka. That was a bit of an early crush. I'm sure, but not just myself. What, Wolfman? Yeah. Wolfman. <laughs> Wolf, I thought you were saying that would be the crush. <laughs> oh, who, who, who am I thinking? I'm thinking of Chris, Chris Akabuski. He used to, he did that uh, advert for personal powder that just went um, uh, PMT. Posit no, PMA. Positive mental attitude. It sounded like he was talking about periods. <laughs> it sounds like Noel Edmonds to me. <laughs> this game's rubbish. Suggest a good one. Yeah. I'm not that familiar with the NES back catalog. Um, because I don't know if you were like like me. Did you grow up as a Sega kid? first console was Mega Drive. Yeah, uh, see, see, mine... I, was I had a couple system. of friends who... Yeah, I had a couple of friends who had Nezzes. I DuckTales was good. Um, obviously Mario. Uh, or any others, really. That's it. That's the entire Nez back catalog there. Yeah. DuckTales <laughs> and Mario. As spoken by an expert, yes. <laughs> Greatest console of all time. Two games. Uh, no, no, no. There was three Mario games plus DuckTales. That's four. I think you're fine. Well, there were more than three Mario games because there was that the educational oh, yeah, but... one where you had to find yeah, they, Luigi or something. They don't count. They don't count. <laughs> what, because they're crap? Oh, exactly. Yeah. Crap ones don't count. Yeah, for, for me, the NES in the UK was a bit of a non-entity because we never had like the PC crash over here like they had in America. People just carried yeah. on with with stuff. Stuff. Uh, oh, Avril's got a suggestion. Yeah, That's she not bad. Uni she, races. She wants me to play your rhino races. Rhino races. <laughs> uh, cross the streams. Uni rally. But I don't think I've got that here. That was a SNES game, isn't it? Avril, I'm pretty sure that's for SNES. Oh, he's the expert now. I am. Yeah. He knows it all. Uh, yeah, we'll go for original Super Mario Brothers, as that's one of the two best games on there. At least we'll know it's good. Yes, we end up in a Mega Man for PC situation where you can't move. Uh, oh. This is Nez, Avril. Didn't seem to be loading then. Or do I... Have you frozen, or is it just me? Uh, no, I'm just... I just uh, fucked the buttons up, that's what it was. Oh, right, okay. I was wondering what happened there. Now I know what I did. Turns out, I fucked it up. Really sorry, man, I'm going for a cigarette again. Uh... <gasps> right to just chat away by yourself I'm sure. Yeah I'm going to do like a half hour spiel on how smoking is evil but you already know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright see you in a bit man. Yay it, it's super super plumber lad. Oh We'll get back with Super Plumber, lad. Just realise I didn't actually map my buttons around the wrong way for a nerd pad. It's 
It's racial stereotype, man. It's lovely meatballs. I have seen that they have uh, released a Super Mario Battle Royale game. It's not official, but uh, it looks quite fun. This one is forever ruined for me uh, because the song in my head sounds like Suck my fucking penis Suck my fucking penis Suck my fucking penis And that's all I can hear now Have your head now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be if a uh, cab film club won't take um, Super Mario Brothers, I'll take it. This week's, uh, next week's listings will go up a little late because I'm not sure necessarily what date I'll be able to do it. So, um... <laughs> Suck my fucking penis! Canaveral. Run right simulator. <laughs> Avril is no longer sucking the penises of her mind. Teach me to keep my wireless headphones on when I go for a cigarette. <laughs> All I've been hearing is suck my fucking penis. Suck my fucking penis. <laughs> <laughs> Just immediately fell into a hole. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever said that to yourself whilst playing Mario. I actually got past the first level. Yay. Again, because like I said, I'm crap at easy games. Right, let's play a different game, shall we? We we all know Mario, don't we? How how was your how was your lovely flat fag? How was it? 
It was absolutely lovely. What what brand do you smoke? Or are you this a roll up man? It's Costa's choice. Oh, it's a roll up. I'm roll up man. I'm roll up man. Roll That's up. a superhero. Roll up man. <laughs> He's like, like, help, help, help me, roll up man. I got a moment, just gonna lick this. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't got a roach, have you? Tobacco is my kryptonite. <laughs> no, it would be vape, wouldn't it? Oh, it would, yeah. Fucking vape, man. Oh, no. I tried... Vape. <laughs> my powers are to... fading. Yeah, I tried to do vape for a while, and it's just like, it's just not the same. Yeah, it's like drugs should not be candy floss flavoured, should they? Exactly. <laughs> it's not a good look. And, and you, ju- you just know that in 20 years' time, they're going to announce that vaping is actually worse than smoking because it melts your lungs or something. I suppose, yeah, we don't really know, do we? It's too early to say. Yeah. But it, it can't be good to inhale that amount of foreign substances into your lungs, can it? No. It's probably better than smoking tobacco, though. Yeah, but... Oh. The- the thing is, so they know the effects of tobacco and they're taking things to try and make it better in certain ways. As in, just try putting, and stop you smoking. Well, they're just putting grisly pictures on the packets. Oh, I, I have had customers that refused to take pa- packages because they didn't like the picture and they wanted a different one. <laughs> <laughs> My reply to that is, what, are you trying to collect the whole set? some are worse than others definitely like what's the one on mine at the moment hold on is is Uh, that is that a new morrissey song some fag pack packets are worse than other people's fag packets (laughs) some (laughs) some (laughs) packets and spin a flower around yeah uh it's a smoking can kill your unborn child and there's a picture of a wee baby burn with tubes and things in it it's a bit like that jam sketch yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe that was like connected to the boiler sort of thing. Funny, I don't know any of these games. I wonder if fifty one in ones on here. No, it isn't, because that's meant to be a appalling game. It's like fifty one fi- bad yeah. games. I think Angry Video Game Nerd yeah. did an episode on it. Then again, he also did a. Um, uh, uh, one on the game Seaman, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had a Dreamcast, and even I drew the line at that. I was like, no. Yeah, Cheetah Man. Need... Cheetah Man is bad. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> they actually did a Kickstarter for a sequel, didn't they? Uh, I hope it failed. I'm not sure. I'm going to look that up. You try and find another oh, game. I'm gonna look that oh, up. did you did you see any of the E3 coverage this year? Uh, some of it, yeah. Did you see the announcement for the new Commander Keen game? Yeah, the mobile piece of crap. Yeah. <laughs> how how did you, I I take it you you do not approve? Not approve. Um, I'm not a massive. Uh, my friends when I was a kid used to have. Uh, whatever a computer it was that had Command Keen on it, so I, I saw him play through it, but I just I, I just feel sorry for people who are just really into those games that, you know, it's like the Diablo they brought out that was just for mobile. Yeah, it's, just, it, it's, it's like they've it's misunderstood. really horrible. They've misunderstood yeah. the market, thinking that, like, the kids today would have any nostalgic pans for Commander Keen. A, a, yeah. a fringe platformer on PC that you would buy on a shareware disc. Exactly, it's just it's completely wrong-headed. I've just looked up Cheetah Man on Kickstarter. Cheetah Man Two: The Lost Levels. One thousand one hundred twenty-two backers pledged ninety-four thousand two hundred seventy dollars to help bring this project to life. So we got funded, basically. Oh God. Yeah. But people be really disappointed if it was any good. Is, is there a I pledge? I guess that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a pledge to keep it bad? But if I don't know, yeah. <laughs> how, how does that work? What if they were really competent at like making Cheetah Man two, and it was like a yeah, you'd be 
You'd be disappointed, wouldn't you? Yeah. Or, or if it was just like average. Again, disappointed. You you want a bit. You want it to be one of the worst things that's ever been made. Yeah, you, but not purposefully bad. Like you know, not one of those awful movies that where they're purposefully bad. You want it to be like the room, something where someone tried their hardest, like with Cheetah Man, but just yeah. failed miserably because they got no talent whatsoever. You know, I've never shown the room on Cab TV because I thought it was too obvious. A bit obvious. I can see why you think that. Yeah. I think it's also the sort of thing, if you're going to watch it with a group of people, it would probably work better if you're, they're in the same room as you. Well, I just think we've all seen the clips. That's all I you think, need. Uh, and I actually watched the whole thing, and you're best off just watching the clips. It's boring. Yeah, that, that's the problem you get with some bad movies, is there's some really funny laugh-out-loud scenes, and then the rest is just rubbish. Exactly. Yeah. The, the the best bad movies that we've watched have been bad all the way through. They've managed to pace the badness out somehow. Yeah. Um Churchill is gonna take some beating, I think. Yeah, that's that's not a good bad film though. That was just It's not, but it was enjoyable to rip it to shreds. Yeah, it, co- comedy is the worst thing to watch when it's bad. Yeah. I'm looking at the list of all these games and I don't know any of them. Yeah, you could just choose something, just um, just close your eyes and just double click on something at random. That one. So we've got Swamp Thing. Okay, cool. I've not seen Food Fight, Avril. I know what it is. It's the terrible animation. Yeah. This isn't going to be a good game, is it? Nineteen ninety two is quite late for the NES, isn't it? The amount of formula I have stolen is too small. Uh, are you one that always um can't fool me with the extra health thing by going backwards at the start thing? Um, that guy had a I'm sorry, that guy had a prune for a head. So just... That's a prune for a head. Now, <laughs> Is this a game where water kills you? And the answer is no. Oh, I'd hope not. I mean, he swamp things. <laughs> it's, it's a robot armadillo. Jump in the water. Oh, good. Yeah, that would be a complete betrayal of the character if water killed him. What the giant wood lice are they, or this, armadillos? This, this is exactly what Alan Moore was thinking when he was doing his run on swamp things. Oh, is what he dreamt in his head. Yeah. Maybe you could jump out of the water onto a boat, Alan Moore said. He said, definitely do that. Make sure you get get the robot armadillo to make sure that's him. I insist on it. If it's not him, take my name off it. Yeah, forget it, yeah. <laughs> Based on the works by Alan Smithy. Guy incognito. <laughs> Guy incognito. That's, like... That's my favourite Simpsons false name. Oh, was that from The Simpsons? Yeah, oh. it's like when there's a double of Homer, you go to the pub and he says, Hello, my name is Guy incognito. Because he's banned from the pub, but it's not actually him, it's just a random guy. Let's try that next time I get barred from the pub. <laughs> Grumpy is Ryan, says Professor Prune for a head. I know Earthworm Jim had Professor Monkey for a head. And uh, Queen Slug oh, Slug yes. for a head. Yeah. yeah. Can I actually kill that? No. So you have to take damage. That little this plant thing. This plant thing. Yeah. This is this is one of those ones that's just needlessly things where unavoidable so we'll do one screen and we won't make the rest of the game because they can't yeah. get through it you should never have to take damage that's just bad games have you never taken damage from an old tin can in real life Bill? 
can I just... It happens to me on a week. No, basis. you can't jump over it. So you've got a punch attack, and it doesn't hit anything. Look, I'm trying... It doesn't you look like you can. I reckon you'll just shit at the game, to be honest. You bloody try it. You get your own damn stream. You try it, and I'll criticise you. No, I am getting my own stream next month, so I will try it, and I'll beat the entire game without getting hit once. Okay, do you, do you bet your fags on it? I do. I bet all the fags in the world on it. All the lovely fags. All the lovely, lovely facts. So, also, those, those robot armadillos are faster than you. So, not only can you not kill them. A big muscular man made of swampy marks. He's not very strong, is he? It's, it's like uh, in California games where you can trip over some litter and die. <laughs> <laughs> I got over. Oh, you can get past that one. Oh, so, so you have to take a you have to take a shit on the boat. Ugh, crap for now. <laughs> on the shot with um, Professor Proofrehead, why is the shadow with a top hat? I can't figure that out. I think he's meant to be a different character. That's in the comics. Yeah, but I don't understand why the shadow is not representative of the person or thing casting. Green... Oh, okay, I think that green thing I picked up was bullets, but then I died. Let's flip over to the, the SNES emulator, shall we? Sounds good, man. SNES games are better generally, anyway. Ooh, controversial. Is it? Is it really? It depends who you speak to. Yeah. So I just have to set up my window now. Oh, fucking hell, Phil. Don't suggest that. I was suggesting and Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, oh jeez. I I know of it. Yeah. <sighs> Mike from Angry Video Game Nerds actually managed to complete it, which is quite an achievement. Oh, I've I've done the wrong window. <laughs> this is exciting admin work, live. On... <laughs> 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 What's it called then? On the SNES emulator. Yeah, I think I found it. Watching live. We're coming to get you. Right. So, what do we want to play? Splatterhouse, was it? Uh, that's a Mega Drive game. So, suggestions, chat. I think that's Mega Drive as well, Avril. I could be wrong, but I know it. there is one from the Mega Drive. I think we're working out that Avril used to have a Mega Drive. Yes, I'm starting <laughs> to suspect that too. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Okay. Where are you in the ROM list today? 
So there's one that's just called Scooby Doo. It's Scooby Doo and the Bebe Jibidi Doo. Oh, right, okay. It's almost certainly not what Apple was thinking. Could be. Uh, it doesn't. It looks like a platformer to me. Yep. I'm certain she's thinking of Mega Drive. <laughs> it's a bit like Simpsons did it, but this time Mega Drive did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mega Drive did it. Mega Drive did it. I don't think my left is working. No, really, this isn't the game that she wants. Fred's got a bone there. That's shaggy, but yes, he does. Oh, exciting. I was just looking at the sunset out my window. It's beautiful. There you go. Getting grades, you. <laughs> I can do a couple of impressions of Shaggy, but I can only do a couple of words. I've got one. Uh, it's Scoob! That's good. Uh, Soiks! <laughs> that is pretty good. And g -g -g Ghost! That's excellent, but if you try and do longer. Yeah, I, I can't do it. Only... It falls apart, yeah. But it, it, it's enough to, to, to make up a filthy sex scene between. Scooby Doo and um, uh, Daphne or uh, no Scooby Doo Elm. and Shaggy because you can, you can go oh Scoop and then he'll go <laughs> Swings <laughs> <laughs> that's how I imagine it would go yeah what is your situation where you're living Avril saying don't upset the neighbours fellas. Uh, it's, uh, well, my my garden here is about three acres. I'm I'm more liable to upset my mum and dad. Ah, oh, right. Okay, you're not in a flat share situation. No. I, no. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's I don't think it is. Yeah, yeah. A, it's a platform. Right? I think I've got to find things. Oh, you've got to go through the door. In the middle of the. That's not obvious, is it? No. Wasted my Scooby snack there. So, yeah, this is a sort of platform adventure game hybrid, isn't it? Uh... Maybe it is what... How do I get back out of... What she was thinking of, but her brain's just been wronged. Problem is, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, there's it... a door... Well, that's where you came from. Uh... Skill. What did you pick up? What was the item? I'm assuming... But there's one down there, that shadow. Oh, no, left. Oh, you got it, sorry. No? Oh, oh I see what you mean, yeah. There's... Yeah, this is really badly designed. Yeah, you expect it to be linear, don't you? It... Yeah, Raffle, I know exactly what you mean. It's got the verb interface, pick up, look at, and all that down at the lower end of the screen. I just fucked a scooter off somehow. How did I do that? This. Oh, the other Shit. thing is, is the life meter goes in the opposite way. Normally, like your life, oh, that's, 
That's bad, yeah. It's counterintuitive, isn't it? Yeah. You expect it to be red and then to go down, not to be empty and then fill with red. This is not the droids we are looking for. <laughs> uh, more suggestions? It's not the game we're looking for, yeah. It's definitely. not the game. It's not the game. Suggestions, preferably games that actually were released with a SNES. Not not Mega Drive games. Yeah, Avril. Avril. Well, they only had Mega Drives in Canada. <laughs> we called them SNESs. <laughs> <laughs> Ref, we should play Zelda then, The Link to the Past. The only nomination, so I guess. I have a feeling that Z um, Link will go. A bit in it. Oh, I can't be bothered to play Zelda. No, that's what I was thinking. It's like, ugh. 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 let's play the Tick ugh. game because we've been watching. Oh wait, the tick. you could actually play the Una Rally thing that Avril was saying earlier. Oh yeah, we'll we'll check that out. I'm assuming yeah. it's not on the Mega Drive. No, that's definitely a SNES game. Yeah. This is actually pertinent to uh, what we're watching at the moment. Yeah, yeah. G Urinal Racer. Urinal Racer. We'll play it afterwards, Avril. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be a platform. Platform, all right. And that, to be fair, I'm guessing, I, yeah. I think you could make a good tick uh, side scroll and beat them up. Good. I think it will be a very deep metaphorical study of the nature of human existence. Existential. Chapter one: Night of the Million uh, Zillion Ninjas. I think you're you're right there. What is that woman doing there? Oh, it is it is a side scroll and beat them up. Better than Streets of Rage 2. Uh, no, I fell off a bus. Cheap deaths. Love it. There's a nice little animation when you do, though. So that's uh, kind of a way to start again, isn't it? To throw you in at the deep end. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's like any combos or anything. Do I ha have any, you know, like, power-up things? No, I don't. You know, like... Special moves, you mean, like... Oh, no, I did. Uh, that's that's what they were saying in the chat room. Someone asked if I shouted, but I've used them all up. Like, <laughs> As soon as you start the game, you're like, use everything, all your special reserves. Yeah. Because you don't know the buttons. Yeah, it always used to happen to me in Streets of Rage. You summon that car that shoots a rocket launcher. This, this waste is... on the first end. He said spoon. Apple complete. Bloody hell. Yeah, really cheap the animated, doesn't it? It was just like. The... They tell Darby. See, I fell off the building because I thought the building looked like a building. Oh no, was I right or was I wrong? I don't know anymore. Did I complete that? No, you seem to have actually dropped down to the street level. That's on going nuts. That's interesting if that's what they meant. Yeah. And it wasn't... Because it was like it's sort of loaded between the two. So I thought I'd die. Right. Yeah. The actual beat em up twat. stuff on here is crap. 
there, I can tell. You know how you can just look at a game and get a feel for how it controls? I'm getting a bit big time with this. Like, um, you get hurt when you are trying to hurt them. You don't get any invulnerability frames. Yeah, yeah. So you can just infinitely get hit over and over until you die. So, so you 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 think like, as as a baddie, if you kick them, they would. In Streets of Rage, when you hit someone or kick someone, they fly mm. back, don't they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. In this, he could just stand still. No, he. Yeah. You hit him, and then instead of going back, he carries on charging at the same speed that he was before you were hitting him. See? Essentially, the enemy has the sort of power that you as the player should have. Yeah. I think the idea is you're supposed to hit him once and then get out of the way. Yeah. Because there's a brief moment where he puts his head so back. So you can't chain hits. That's it, and then you... Yeah. No, he moved up. So he hones in on you. Oh, yeah, that's... That's fucked up. You see, I definitely dodged him, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I guess you're supposed to hit once and then wait a split second and then jump. So you jump over him. It's really bad. Yeah, you have to jump over him. Yeah. Weird. Surely just going up should just go out of his path, though. <laughs> Phil, have you ever seen the Link to the Past randomizers? where they put all the keys and the items in random dungeons and different chests. So you have to try and work out your route by the items that you get. That sounds pretty cool. Is that like a hack? Yeah, it's, it's a hack. They do tournaments of it, where people race against each other to complete it the fastest. I mean, there's logic That's in cool. there, so you yeah. can't get locked out of certain dungeons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they've made it really customizable, so everyone can have their own um, sprites in it. Ooh, so you yeah. can be like Pikachu or a, a pug, or yeah. even like invisible, just a shadow, which makes it really funny. Or just uh, Link Shadow. Yeah, that, that's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> They've also done a version now where they made a randomizer version of Metroid, but they've combined it with. Because someone made a joke, oh, you should link it up with a Link to the Past. So now there's literally a crossover with Link to the Past and Metroid with random items, and the items can be in eyes of the games. So oh, and there's certain what, points so where like you change over games. Yeah. Well, that's insane. I didn't know you could even do something like that. That's crazy. That's how big the scene of it is. Yeah, the hacker's really clever. I'm bored of this game. Let, let's play your rhino well, races. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your rhino races. Did you ever. Uh, lost tra Thanks for that. I lost my train of thought there. Um, <laughs> did you ever play the Sonic hack where it's Fat Sonic? Oh, what, the more rings you eat, the fatter you get. Yeah, the fatter you get and you can't move. <laughs> I think that's great because it's not only funny, but it also completely changes the nature of the game. It's really clever. I've watched a lot of people do like Mario games, but with special rules, so like they can't kill an enemy or get a coin or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, Angry Video Game Nerd did that recently. Yeah, because he's running out of games he likes to play. Yeah. Yeah. They're now resorting to yeah. You're not allowed to hit any boxes. You have to go backwards and what things was like it, that. What were the games for at Uni Rally? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Or Uni Racer, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Avril, you, Uni... can't, you can't move left or right. Um... <laughs> <laughs>
So to win, you just leave the SNES on and just stand still. <laughs> That's it, it's like... It, here's the uh, urinal races. Who, who, who should we be? What, what's the most uh, hooked and bomb name on there? I'll, I'll leave it up to um, the chat room. Who should we pick? Uh, now we're going to have to work out what uh, Avril's name is. Yeah, right. Either Amy, Carol or Alice. Or Melissa. Or, or, Melissa. or, yeah. or she could be called Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it is Colin, I shouldn't judge. Yeah. <laughs> Ken. He's my girlfriend, Ken. <laughs> uh... what, what should we... We'll go for Melissa, shall we? Melissa McCarthy. On a used cycle. She's pretty good menuing though so far. Or either Amy or Alice. Apple. Or Carol. No, 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 it's Amy or Alice. get into this game, but uh, we'll see how you do. Okay. It seems a bit basic. Yeah, that's always what I thought. I'd never really got the hang of it. I, I think the idea is to do stunts and things, but... There's not enough stunts. Let's go around loops and things eventually. Right, you've got to learn the flips, but there isn't an actual guide, says so Apple. Fantastic. It's like a, a messenger version of trying to play Street Fighter, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you learn the combos. Partly why I could never get into the whole fighting game genre. The, the learning curves are yeah, just the idea of having to memorise. I can't even memorise my own phone number. How am I supposed to memorise both combos? Forward flip makes you speed up. But Dell, you're having exactly the reaction. I've tried to play it several times. It's supposed to be an absolute classic, but you just never get into it. I can see how it, how it can be, but it's got that thing where you don't have an overall map, so you don't know where you're going. It's a bit like Nights into the Dreams for the Saturn. Not gameplay necessarily, but you just until you figure out what you're doing, you just have to be lost. And once you do, once it clicks, it's great. Yeah, because you don't know when like thing, thing, you're just holding down and you're just going, but yeah. you're not having fun. No. <laughs> Which is kind of key to a good yeah. game. Fun. I have none of this. It's not fun like I have in, say, like a game like Micro Machines. No, that's you know where you are from the off with Micro Machines. Apple no says she's not an Amy. <laughs> Sorry, Apple says she's not an Amy. Therefore, she's an Alice. Alice, who the fuck is Alice? <laughs> Alice. I bet she's never had that. <laughs> yes. Bingo. Okay. 
I, I can see why they called it your rhino racer now. Yeah, because it's piss. Pish. Pish, mate, pish. I, I think in my new government, I'm gonna have to. Uh, Am I racing now, or am I just gonna do stunts? Let's see. Um... What are you gonna do in your new government? Um, lock up all the people that play your Rhino Racer. <laughs> Rhinos. Um, yes. I read a psychological study in into how men piss into your rhinos. All oh, right, go on. Um, I'm interested to hear this. About this place that was having problems with men pissing on the floor with bad aim. Ugh, it's disgusting, dude. <laughs> and they found if they put a target in the arrival, that it people... makes a game out of it. Yes. Yeah. People were no longer pissing on the floor. The sort of person who would piss on the floor, I wouldn't surprise me in the least that if a game is made out of it, and if it's a challenge, and they can feel like they win at something, that they're then pissing you on. It's not something, you know, I actually piss in the toilet or in the urinal. I don't put it all over the floor, but for the sort of person who does, it makes sense that you have to go to those sort of extremes get them to do something that should just be common sense. But I, I imagine like the Urinals are now like one of them carnival games where you have to squirt the walk kiss for into the clown's mouth and the balloon expands. You're not wrong, there's actually, there are actually urinal games like video game hybrids. There's like a screen above the urinal and you control left and right by just going slightly left and right in the urinal. This is a thing that exists. I mean, when I was a lad, I was just happy with uh, just trying to move the urinal cake up and down. <laughs> yes. I must admit, I did that at least. <laughs> That's an inappropriate name for something ever, the urinal cake. Yeah. The, two, not, the twain should never meet. Not as tasty as you think it would be. <laughs> <laughs> you speak from experience, I take it. <laughs> But to be fair, I can see how one would get into this game. You're starting to sort of get a little bit more like you're getting into it. It's, it's still just hold the button down. Really. Right, yeah. That's kind of Sonic in a way, isn't it? It's Sonic, but with like the enemies taken out. Hmm. Which is where a lot of modern Sonic games fall down. Yeah, when you don't feel like you're in control, it's just... It, it becomes Panzer Dragoon Sonic. <laughs> Alright, let's play something else on. Yeah. I'm probably the rhino racers that shot. Probably going to stick a movie on about half ten, but I haven't decided yeah. what, what's on my oh, PC right. at the moment, so it'll be something random. Okay, you're not going for something off the list then? Uh, no, because a lot of my stuff is on my other computer and I haven't copied it across, so just anything that's on my externals. You're like me with hundreds of movies on your external hard drive. Yeah, well I've got like um, like a server upstairs as well, but this PC isn't connected to it. I can't connect to it for some reason. Oh, right. Yeah, I just do a thing the old-fashioned way, just transfer via USB or hard drive. Yeah, so I, I like sort of preparing up the lists each week and copying the stuff across from its relevant storage locations. Yeah, yeah. You'd think I'd copy the whole seasons over, but I don't. <laughs> no, because you're a human being and that's what human beings do. We're not pragmatic. But the thing is, though, as I do it, I sort of rename the files on the thing because I Bass copied a lot of my DVDs, so they're not named. So as I watch something, I'll name it. Then I know that I've watched it as well. 
Yeah, um, yeah. What I do is I've got a folder with A to D, E to G, and what have you. And then outside of those folders, I'll just put all the films I haven't watched, and once I've watched them, just fold them into the relevant folder. Sh shall we play Doom on the SNES? Yeah, sure. I'm expecting this to be horrible. It's not going to be ideal without. Although, because you, I take it. Oh, you're playing with the SNES USB pads. With SNES, yeah. Uh, yeah, it might be ideal, but give it a shot, man. I expect it to be quite minimised as well. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be like low res doom. Oh god, this is possibly the worst version of doom. Which is the one thing I can't hear because I've got the sound down. <laughs> oh god, god, the buttons on this are horrible. <laughs> really jerky. It seems like it'll give you a headache off. The shoot button isn't the button you'd expect it to be either. Is it relevant or that, um, on the SNES pad? Um, it would be the top one. Why is it? Yeah, why? Yeah. Yeah. You'd expect it to be A or B, wouldn't you? It would, yeah. Yeah, that's awkward. Still quite impressive technically that they got this running on a SNES. The fact that I managed to complete the first levels something. That would make it the third first level throughout this entire stream that you've actually completed. Yeah. You're on a roll. <laughs> on the Mega Drive, the only sort of equipment that you had was zero tolerance, which is obviously bonkers. Well, and there's all those weird Bible games as well, isn't there? Uh, yeah, like... I don't think that's Mega Drive, but uh, yeah. Where it was, because that used the Doom engine, but it replaced okay. everything with animals. It was Noah's Ark, wasn't it? I've had that storm. That's interesting, Phil. Was it built into the cart itself? Yeah, that's why like a lot of SNES games are quite hard to emulate, because they all have special chips in them. Whereas... The Mega Drive only had one game with a special chip in. Virtual uh, Racing. Yeah. Yeah. Which they did that and then realised that why not just ha put the chip in the add-on and that became the Virtual Yeah. Especially because it cost seventy quid to buy Virtual Racing at the time. Yeah. What, and that's back in the late nineties. What they were thinking quid. of doing is just having like a little plug-on add-on with the chip in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I can sort of see what led them to doing the thirty-two X. It's still. Yeah, it, it, they should have just said, well, we've got a new console coming out, buy that instead. It's, it's so self-defeating as well, because they had the Saturn in development, so... The, the problem was, is you had two different marketing departments that weren't really talking to were in competition with each other, because you had Sega America, which was the 32X, right. then you had Sega Japan doing the Saturn... That's so, interesting. So, in Japan, they were ready to move on to the next console, whereas uh, the Mega Drive was quite popular, so they wanted to extend their life in America. See, so, okay. And that's how the situation happened. So there should should have been like someone who said no, one or the other. Yeah, definitely. What the graphic corruption when you get that lift? What is going on? Is that just on the stream? Does it look alright on the end? No, it doesn't look alright. It looks like it's raining pixels. Do, do man is crying. <laughs> it's like, what, have I, what have I been lowered to? But, but did you know apparently that the guy from Wolfenstein, the guy from Doom, 
and Commander Keen are part of all the same family lineage. Oh, what a load of old bollocks, right? I don't doubt that that's true from an official standpoint, but it's a load of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> and um, that Siri. one of the secret levels in Doom 2 is the first level of Wolfenstein. But there's a secret passage that gives you a room for the spikes with Commander Keens on them. Okay, I know there's um, a secret room with John Romero's head on a spike. Oh, that, yeah, that's in, that's in the last level. Right, yeah. God, this is really, really <sighs> bad. Let, let's play something else that satisfied my curiosity now. Just glad you haven't got a migraine. That it seems the frame rate seems very migraine inducing. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, let's try Chester Cheetah, too cool to fool. <laughs> this is going to be awful, isn't it? Oh, wait, I've got a good one as well uh, for after this. I'm just going to look, look up what it's called, I can't remember. I get a feeling this might have been given away if you send in enough crisps. Sounds like the sort of thing. I don't think people would genuinely. But then again, the original Mario 2 was made for like a festival thing, wasn't it? Um, what do you mean, like? The original game is called Doki Doki Panic. The Jap Japanese one, yeah. yeah. And then they just ported it over as Mario into the US. Yeah, and Japan got the what was known as the lost levels in America, right? Yeah, it's like in the long run, I think it actually showed that you could be more spent experimental with Mario. Let's see if I think you got the lost levels in America, then you'd be stuck to the same game because it's essentially just a levels pack. Well, that's the thing, it, it's more. Usually, most people just want more of the same, but Doki Doki Panic and the Japanese uh, Mario 2 is supposed to be great. I haven't played it myself. I mean, a lot of things have now been written into like lore, like some of the characters that crop, crop up. Yeah, like, yeah, like, from, um, from the game. didn't Shy Guy come from? Yes, that? yeah. He's pretty iconic now with Mario. Yeah. Oh God! I can't the character stop design for Chester is so nineties, isn't it? I can't stop playing guitar. <laughs> yeah, because he, he's he's nineties, dude. He's rocking out. I can see where the poochie thing comes from. <laughs> this is a proper poochie, isn't it? Ninety percent more Rastafarian. <laughs> I will say one thing for this, it, it may be bollocks, but it's not unfair. Which oh, what? is quite the achievement given what's happened so far. What? The Has it gone dark on your end? Or? Yeah, it went dark in the game because I think when you take damage, I think he can't see out of his shades. I don't think the developers understand how shades work. So wasn't that a thing in a movie, if something's scary, you're sh that's hitchhikers, isn't it? Uh, you wear yeah. you wear glasses and if something scary happens then they go dark so you don't have to see it anymore. Could be. That, that was better than your rhino races. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah. One is considered classic, the other isn't, and yet it was more fun. <laughs> that's it. Um... Yeah, you had a game in mind, I believe. Oh yes, uh, Lester the Unlikely. More uh, top tier stuff, isn't it? Oh, it's an absolutely classic. <laughs> Looking forward to see how you control this man. It's unbelievable. You know, yeah, you know, I could be a Lester the Unlikely savant. <laughs> It's 
is a character that literally runs away from enemies and you have no control over it. So I heard a bang there, but it was outside the door. The animation on this is pretty good. It is, yeah. You have to grab off onto that ledge above you. Uh, how do I jump up? There we go. Mm. I did like his earth sound. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he does the sonic thing on the edge of the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> this deserves like a, a proper HD reboot, doesn't it? Like, done really well it's with good control. It's surprisingly little known for how appalling it is. Mm. <laughs> They're calling it Graham Cox's Adventure. Mm. That one's lost me, I'm afraid. Uh, he's the bass, uh, the guitar player in Blur. I take it it looks a lot like this fella. <laughs> he does. He's scared of the enemies. Esther the unlikely flouncer. Kick it, kick it in the shins. <laughs> run away. Is he gonna run? <laughs> well, it's not happened yet. You, you're encountered enemies and you'll just start running away. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, and the... you don't have control when he runs away, right? The 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 um the animation's too good. So like you start mm. his uh animation cycle and you're paralyzed in doing that movement. Mm. So you no. you can't do anything while you're doing it. So if you're being attacked, you're stuck doing your your character animation. Yeah, it's pretty mm. aesthetics over like gameplay, isn't it? Should we all get together and make Biggie Tipfo Simulator? What would that involve, I dread to think? Oh. It would just be ranting, wouldn't it, about conspiracy theories? Occasionally oh. it'd be him watching the news and going, that didn't happen. Oh. <laughs> Forever the con contrarian man. Like. <laughs> and then occasionally he'll play some Paul McCartney. <laughs> oh god. Mm. <laughs> oh, mm. This is too good. <laughs> actually dives from a height. Oh, yeah, so he does. Yeah, I've got like a two second lag. <laughs> uh, what, what was... Uh, someone wanted to play Hook. Based on the Robin Williams film, I'm guessing. Hook. Hook. Ah, Sony. Who would have thought they'd become a uh, games giant? <laughs> Yeah. One of the worst movie studios out there. Not as bad as Disney, to be fair. The problem with Disney is the stuff that they make is of high quality. Is it? It's like... I disagree. No, if, if you like the property that they're doing... I think... I think Marvel is their movies are supposed to be great, but I don't watch superhero stuff, so I wouldn't know. It's like you, but they're not. You can feel confident that if you like that, then you're gonna continue to get what you like. It doesn't work with Star Wars, though, does it? That's because they're neckbeards. 
<laughs> to me, there was absolutely nothing wrong with the last Star Wars movie. Really? Oh, do you, have you you've seen it, right, have you? Yeah, unfortunately. Tell, tell me why you didn't like it. Like, it was too long to get into, but fundamentally, it's one of the worst scripts I've ever seen put on screen for a big budget movie. Yeah, but that, that's the same as um, the original Star Wars. No, it's not to this level. There's not a scene that goes by that if you actually stop and really think about it, it's filled with plot holes, with just incomprehensible at every turn. It actually got revealed that Ryan Johnson, the writer and director, handed in and filmed the first draft. Who the fuck does that for a movie, man? Well, I think we watched a few of them on Cap TV. <laughs> yeah, but for a major blockbuster that's a follow-up to one of the longest-running, most successful series in all of cinema, handing in a first draft and filming that, that's just bad. It is a bit, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> that, that'll do. This game is not good. Well, it is not good. Put line and stinker. <laughs> boom boom. <laughs> what did you think of the movie, by the way, Dove? What of Hook? Yeah. I I like Hook. I like it too. It got an unfair rap at the time, I think. I think it's a fun sort of adventure. It, it's it's cool. big, it's of its era. Um interesting And Hoffman's good value in it and uh, interesting twist on having Peter Pan as the old doubting one. It's 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 obviously the mirror sequel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, but it's sort of it, it, it got makes, panned at the time, I think. It it makes sense. Uh, plus, you got Rufio in it. Yes, Rufio, Rufio. Um, I, I think even Spielberg's disowned it. Yeah, well, he he prefers his more serious stuff, doesn't he? You can tell that he do, he's, he's not do, he's not. He's not disowned Crystal Skull, so what? What the fuck, Spielberg? Like, yeah. Apparently, they wanted to do like um, a guy in a fridge surviving a nuclear explosion for years. That was uh, Back to the Future, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, what sh what should we play now? What should we do? Yeah, I was saying like Spielberg only does like the big big blockbusters now, and not in. Basically, to pay for his art films, doesn't he? I think that's true, isn't it? Yeah, it's he's, one for them, one for me, sort of thing. Like, yeah. You can kind of tell his heart's not sort of in it. It's like I don't think Ready Player One, his heart was in it. No. Or, or or the BFG. No. It's like it's like um I always and I kind of felt like Tintin was someone else's project, just with Spielberg's name on it. Have you yet to see that? I heard it's really good. Do you not like it? it it's good. It's it's Tintin, but it's not. It doesn't right. feel like a Spielberg movie. Okay, yeah. It, it, heard a lot of people say it was more Indiana Jones than the Crystal Skull movie was. Yeah, but so is Urinal Racers. That's <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The problem with Indiana Jones is they didn't write his age into the storyline. They didn't address it really. Yeah. You can't just have him being the same character and make it credible. It's mm -hmm. like you make need to make him more into the whole puzzle solving thing and trying to get through temples and stuff and less about being the action hero. Yeah, it's sort of like d doing the brain stuff, the interact sort of yeah, exactly. bumping into like some of his old flames perhaps that he's left to die or something and like that comes yeah, I back wouldn't, to haunt him. I wouldn't have minded Marion coming back if she wasn't handled horribly. It wasn't the same character at all. What would you want them to br bring back rerun to go Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones? Ooh, short round. Yeah, short round. Rerun. I don't know who the fuck rerun is. Oh, I, th I think it might be the character who plays in the Goonies. Oh, okay, same actor, yeah. so I can see why he 
Like, yeah. <laughs> the Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. Yeah. Mm, no, um, hang on to your potatoes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's data. Apple's right. The fuck is rerun, man? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look this up. <laughs> I think I just created a character. I think it's something you dreamt once. Were you dreaming about young Asian children again, <laughs> Del? I'm gonna have to look up the Goonies and find out what what the characters are called in the Goonies. Avril's definitely right. It's Data. It is. Yeah, he's called uh, Richard Data Wang. Of course it's Wang. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> he's Asian. All Asian kids are called Wang. Yeah. I I've just met I've just dreamt up the that that name. Oh god. Avril's right, Dick Wang, Richard Wang, Dick Wang. Oh no. <laughs> no wonder they called him Data. Or yes. rerun. <laughs> just call me Data for fuck's sake. For a, for a minute, I thought that Avril was suggesting that when he grew up, he became Brent Spiner and played Data in Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> <laughs> Despite it being on at a similar time period. <laughs> Although they did put Data in sort of yellow face, so... I got, yeah, yeah. Could have been the same person. <laughs> I might spread that rumour. That amuses me. Still want to know who the fuck you were thinking of, man. <laughs> rerun. It's You're not just thinking there's too many reruns on TV these days. No, and it's, it's, it's going to be a character from some cartoon or something, isn't it? Uh, it'll, it'll come back to you, I'm sure. It was an interesting diversion, at any rate. Um, it, it could be a character from... from Braggy Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you've looked up and that's what it is? <laughs> uh, no, but I think there's a similar name character in there. Uh, no, it isn't. No. no. <laughs> the characters from Braggy Dolls are Sad Sack... Dottie, Hi-Fi, Lucy, Back to Front, Claude, Princess, and Ragamuffin. <laughs> the Raggy Dolls, the Raggy Dolls, just like Del's Raggy Brain. <laughs> uh, no, I, I have just invented a character called Rerun. <laughs> you have? <laughs> the Asian Kid Rerun. <laughs> to be fair, it does sound like an, an 80s children's movie character, doesn't it? It did, because initially I didn't even doubt you, but I was just like, no, hold on. <laughs> uh, right, I think we've got time for one or two more games, so to make the suggestions good, dare I say it. Uh, come on, chat. Yes, there could be a rerun in Peanuts. Maybe that's it. What? But he's not Asian, though, is he? I don't know where you got the Asian connection. No, I don't know why I connected it to him. It's, there's a character called Rerun Van Pelt. Uh, you want to try the Xenon? Ver uh, I don't know if Xenon made it to... No, yes. it made it to the... To the uh, dare I say it ever... To the Mega Drive? No, though, though, though in Canada they called the Mega Drive the rerun. <laughs> uh, rerun does what Nintendo don't. <laughs> I think every single suggestion from Avril has literally been, for the SNES, has literally been a Mega Drive game. It's been a brilliant chat, though. I've absolutely loved it. Good content. Yeah, quality content. Quali quality stuff. 
this, this is what they paid admission for. And they didn't pay anything and they got their money's worth, I'd say. That's it, that's it. Uh, Alright, let's play Super R-Type. That's a classic. Yeah, that's a good one. I love the uh, Giga and style boss at the end, isn't it? Obviously, we're going to play it on easy. Difficult game, so easy is still going to be a right challenging game. Charge up on this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I dare go back to the Mega Drive again. I had zero wing when I was a kid. So before that whole all your based I uh, belong to us became a meme, I was playing that as a kid. Oh, did, did. Can you play Eternal Champions on the snares? <laughs> <laughs> I love that classic SNES game, um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, <laughs> well, can you play Columns on SNES? <laughs> yes. I love Columns on the Game Boy, it's what it's best known for. Can you play Sega Rally on the SNES? I think we pissed off Avril. We're only joking, Avril, sorry. <laughs> I'm bad at this game. Let's be honest, the graphics of this port haven't held up. I'd say they're pretty good overall. Though. They're good, but I've seen better games like this on 16-bit. I mean, better looking. Yeah. I've also seen a lot worse looking, so... Not on the Mega Drive, you haven't. <laughs> let's, let's not go down that route. I think we've pissed off our fault, so... Razzing <laughs> 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 Yeah, I I think I remember the the follow up R type game you can't emulate. I think it's one of those ones that has a special chip in. They must have found a way around it by now, surely. Um, you have to buy like one of them um, SD emulator cartridges, one of the expensive ones that has all the chip technology in them. Uh, That's right, just getting an actual SNES in the yeah. cart. <laughs> so, I think R Type on the SNES is actually R Type 2 in Japan. And that's why it goes R Type, R Type 3 is the sequel. But it's the whole Final Fantasy thing. Yeah. I thought this game was she suggested Xenon because this is a bit Xenon like. Obviously, the, a different orientation. I wish I could figure out a way to have sound without the echo because I'm missing out on half the experience. There must uh, be a way around that somehow. There's, there's a way around it, my end, possibly. It's not a massive deal, but yeah. But then I think the only way around it would be for me to either use virtual audio cables to do it. Uh, it sounds like hassle already. Yeah, yeah, or to listen to my microphone, and that's awful. Because I'd have to basically have you listening to my system sounds, no, rather sure. than just the microphone directly. When I do my stream next month, though, I can listen to the sound without echo, if that makes sense. You can listen to all the sounds. 
So uh, tell us what sort of things are gonna end up on the Ed stream. Uh, it'd just be old, it'd pretty much what you're doing. Probably old, mostly PC stuff, though, like uh, old DOS games, a lot of adventure games. Have you already got them on your PC? Then you know how to play them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it will be next month when I get broadband sorted out. Is she mean that we can get you connected to the stream? And yeah, uh, Dale, I'll need you to, if it, you're still right to do it, just to give me a test run and, and yeah, that, make sure that, I can get everything running. That's fine. That's great. So you, you can play all the best Mega Drive games. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think time for the last game. What shall we have as a finisher? Magnificent. A, ga a, a game called Magnificent? Um, we'll have a look. The closest we've got would be a game called Magic Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I play Magic, Magic Boy? No. I think of anything else. No. Um, just, I still say just scroll through the list, close your eyes and double click and see what comes up. Well, what, what makes me worried about Magic Boy is it's a quarter of the size of all the other files. <laughs> okay. I think it might be Homebrew. Uh, homebrew's the best. Well, that's got a 93 copyright on it. Copyright Hacksaw 98. And land. <laughs> they were really creative with the titles. I'm not sure if this is a genuine game of the year or not. Actual game, after all, Revolution hits. This game, it's pretty good as well. This game on Rotten Tomatoes is officially rated gash. Lead you down the dark path. It's one hit kills, and I hate that. Yeah, Re Phil Revolution says this is X. Yeah, Phil says this is an Amiga port, and you can definitely tell by the aesthetic, can't yeah. you? It's, it's got that sort of James Bond feel to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Just Rev with less penguin bars. Yeah. Let's let's choose a film. Let's see what I've got. Yeah, cool. Um, I downloaded some one... No, I moved those. I don't remember where I put stuff. Let's see what... What are the choices? What might be good? Uh, Carry On Columbus we could watch. No, we don't want to watch Carry On Columbus. No. <laughs> uh, Aeros Aerosmith MTV Unplugged. Complete unaired version. I wonder why it's unaired. <laughs> why did I download that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, my hard drive is full of things where it's. I'm just. I don't even remember why I downloaded that or what it is. I think. I think I t typed in MTV into Pirate Bay and just downloaded anything. We could watch. No, that's not that. I thought it was something, but it wasn't. It was the animated series of Bill and Ted. I thought it was actually the Bill oh, and Ted. Right. They did a live action one as well, didn't they? Yeah, I haven't managed to track that one down yet, unfortunately. Almost positive I've got at least one episode on my hard drive somewhere. I have a film called Brotherhood of Justice. <laughs> I have it sounds... I have a uh, Bubble Boy, I think um Oh John that's... Travolta's yeah. <laughs> That could be good entertainment. Uh Care Bears the movie. No, come on. <laughs> Behave yourself. Actually, that's really scary at the end because it's got like a 
a weird green face thing that's really evil. I like the sound of that, but if it means we've got to sit through an hour and a half of lovey dovey care bears, I don't know if I could well, take no, that, it. The, the whole plot is like this green face is making everyone turn into shits. Literal shits. <laughs> no, not literal. <laughs> Um, City Slickers 2 Curly's Gold we, I think we should go for that Shitty Slickers <laughs> Shitty. Then I can put my comments about it in the thread <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the first draw on here It's just the second Oh that's cool, I watched the first one a few months back Put the second on um, So that that's that's one Yeah We could have I'll put that into the maybe pile because all my good films, Avril, are on my other hard drive. This is just the hard drive full of stuff that I want to subject you to at some point. This is the, yeah. This is the torture drive. Oh no, I've got the film. I'm not even going to put this up for debate. Okay, cool. It is subtitled, unfortunately. It's it's a martial <laughs> arts <laughs> film <laughs> called, <laughs> called Crippled Avengers. Crippled Avengers. <laughs> uh, That's what I like the PC approach there. Crippled Avengers. <laughs> Useless legged Avengers. Waste of space Avengers. Um, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so with that, I've, I've made my decision. I'm not even right, putting cool. it up to a vote. <laughs> Del hath spoken. I have spoken. We are watching Crippled Avengers. Um oh, man. I have to say thank you for the chat. It's been a pleasure. You're fantastic, man. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Yeah. Cheers. Take care, Dell. Bye bye. So we're going to now watch the Crippled Avengers. I hope you enjoy uh, this. Um, I think it might be up your alley. <laughs>